Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Where's my phone? There it is. Tonight, today, we have Darcy. Welcome. It's me, I am Darcy. He is. And we have three games to play on the Atari 2600. We're going to be playing Game of the Bear 2. Oh. Much to bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sequel to Game of the Bear by VHZC. I'm going to be playing a game called Dramanos. Dramanos. And we'll be Dramanos. playing... Dramanos. Is that where you're playing Dramanos? And then Betsy tells about the time <laughs> that Frankie and uh, oh Evelyn uh, hooked up. Drama. Even though they have different spouses. Oh my Dramanos. god. Lots of Dramanos. It, it's, uh, I don't know how much drama there is. And it's not even Dominoes. It's, um, I guess it could be Dominoes, but it's played with playing cards. Um, and we'll be playing an update to 1942. Uh, very fun. So, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Scrolling down beside Darcy. 8-Bit Swami on the Firearms Guard, Code Atari Age, Big Dog, Susie BR, Polka, Buck Owens, Chance, Don Mimao, uh, Charles Whelan, Chai 5, Dianoi, Danny VC, Daryl, 1970, Drexel, Dr. Boo, Cows, M.U. Dan, Fox Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, Lauren TDZ, Marco Johannes, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mike Soul, Mink Latow, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Op Vocal, Horn Decro, Pacrap VG, Kohog, R, Anschwitz, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pimps, Broadcaster, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Where Esmeralda, Toy Pig, The D Train, Welsh, Man, Tiki Dan, K, Team Events, Victor, M, X, Ken X. So many. And if you'd like to add to my pain, uh, you can <laughs> subscribe, and it's free if you have Amazon Prime. Just click subscribe. Or you can just follow us if you like it, and you'll be alerted when we're on. Sometimes we're on in the middle of the day, like right now. Like right now. And sometimes it's the we're middle of the day somewhere. Uh, here, here, actually. Yeah, right here. <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mail. No, I didn't get the mail. I was going to get the mail, but I ran out of time. So, instead, we're going to look at some news. And these wow. are some keychains that tanya made wow look at that very very nice keychains um so she uh i think she 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 showed these live the other day but we sent i just sent these out to the award winners mm. uh with their awards and their certificates and they're on their way already in the mail with tracking so they'll with be there tracking. soon with tracking we're watching you <laughs> and uh, we're watching the mail at least mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh yeah they're really really cool she um used like transfer paper print it out and then you uh like you print it out with the toner mm -hmm. and then you iron on the different colored um stuff it's uh, like sticky it sticks to the toner mm -hmm. when you iron it and then when you pull it off what's left is the part that you printed out on the toner and it, all, the, all the other stuff peels away. And then she places it inside resin and pours resin on top of it in different shapes. So it turns out really nice. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah she puts keychains on them and I makes lots of other things too. So they're really cool. So they're on their way to the award winners. Um, somebody asked me if they could be, are going to be made for the um, nominees. And I'm like, uh, well, Tanya would have to quit her job. Because there's like approximately a hundred nominees. That's too many keychains. Too many. Yeah. Too many. Um, there's a very <laughs> cool program that Carl G made and posted yesterday uh, called the Atari Vox Save Key Copy Utility. Um, and this may have, like, what it does is if you have an old save key. Or an old Atari Vox with your high scores on it. Mm -hmm. and you buy a new one because there has been updates. I have I had the old one and now I have a new one. Mm -hmm. This will copy everything over from the old one to the new one. But he's put some cool things in where, say you've already started using the new one, which a lot of people have mm. because this didn't yeah, exist. Yeah. And you've already got some scores. It will not overwrite That's great. any scores, new scores you've so made. So good. Yeah, so it'll only copy over 
uh, the scores from ones you didn't. It doesn't have selective. It doesn't go, oh, I want to copy this, but not this. It, it just copies everything over except mm. our stuff you've already put in, which is So if you really, have some really terrible cool. scores, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to have to continue to show those off to people. Yeah, but actually, no, not necessarily. Uh, he also made a utility where you can manually change the entries but bite by bite, uh, which you could cheat with. Um, <laughs> But uh, you'd have to figure out how they encoded the high scores. Um, so if you know where it's located, we showed that, that on the last show. So in the combination of both of them, you can copy everything over. And the ones that you have a better score on your old one, that you just haven't increased your score, mm -hmm. you could theoretically copy that section of the save key over to the new save key, mm. which I will be doing with my Wall Jump Ninja score. Which I because have. it's way easier than trying to replicate it, <laughs> and I do want to beat it, but yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I should call that one high score makes instead of this high score maker. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, look, Ivory Tower Collections can put it to use right now. Um, yeah, and if you had a save key and now you got an Atari Vox, you can that speaks, you can take all the save key stuff, put it on the Atari Vox. So there you go. We have to find something to sync the real save key scores with Stella. Ah, yes, that's really, really cool. Because Stella also can store um, save key scores. And you can plug your Atari Vox into your computer, too. Right, right. So it all works. It all works. That would be, that would be very, very cool. Oh, Carl G has replied. What did he say? Uh, the ROM in the first post had been updated to version 2 five minutes ago. Uh, fix for an issue that may or may not exist in the first version, but now definitely doesn't. <laughs> Minor visual tweaks. So, are there any brave souls that are willing to test this on our devices? Uh, no, I'm not willing to test it. I'm too chicken to test it. Because it, theoretically, it could wipe out everything, but it may not wipe out everything. I'm sure it won't. Uh, it I'm sure it won't on yours when you try it. <laughs> yeah, so please go right ahead. And then let me know how it works. It worked for me to copy the data from my Atari Vox to my save key, at least, as well as several successful tests via Stella. It would actually be good if somebody had... I could do it, say, if I got my Wall Jump Ninja score, transferred over to my new one manually, mm -hmm. and then the old one is fine. I don't care what's, what's on it. Mm -hmm. And use the new one to transfer over to the old one, and then I could test it that way without any worries. If it works that way. Um, of course, there is still a worry of it overwriting my new one. <laughs> it's unlikely that it would do that with only reads from it. But yeah. Uh, so super, super cool utilities from Carl G. Um, this next one is fairly old news, but I haven't really mentioned it on the show. It's about a month old. So Pac-Man Plus has restarted working on two of his Atari 7800 games. Adventure 3, The Race for the Chalice which has now been named that, and Defender. So the first one, Adventure 3 Race for the Chalice, uh, a one or two player adventure game. If one player just, oh, that's too wide. Just don't use the second. Uh, controller? It doesn't even, there we go. Oh, oh, it's like absolute. It doesn't wrap around. I can't <laughs> scroll over to it. Um, anyway, uh, if one player just don't use the second controller. That's funny. So the second player just sits there. <laughs> Um, objective, find the three pieces of the chalice and put them Or together. maybe they don't come on the screen unless you move the joystick. Mm, that could be. Yeah, you just don't appear. Does that mean it's like um, co-op and at any moment someone can come along, take the extra joystick and join in? Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, that's a possibility. If two players, you need to find them faster than the other player. So, yeah, maybe. I mean, you're at a disadvantage if you start later. Because one person might have already found a piece. I'm not going to go through all the rules because uh, that's really long. We'll do it when we get to play the game. Um, but that's cool that there's a sequel coming for Adventure. So the original Adventure was on 2600. And I think Adventure 2 was on Atari 8-bit. So Adventure 3 is coming to 7800. So it'll be the trifecta. Carl G says it probably won't trash all your data. <laughs> <laughs> if I had both, I'd be more than happy to risk all my pathetic high scores. <laughs> Funny. Um, oh, this has a timeout so short. 
Come on. Um, and at the bottom, recently he posted. Let me make that bigger. Uh, so I'm finding some parallels between this, Adventure 3, and Defender that I'm working on. They will both have things happening off screen when the player is in a castle. Uh, so hopefully when I get a way of working on this I'm happy with, I can use it for both games. So he's w simultaneously working on Defender and Adventure 3 and there's some common code that's going to be happening. Um, so more information was posted two days ago on pa Pac-Man Plus's conversation with the creator of Defender. Speaking of Defender. Uh, with creative defender Eugene Jarvis because he's in contact with the arcade creator of Defender, mm. which is really cool because yeah. it's very helpful for him making his own thing. Um, not much to tell, really. We had a two-hour conversation, and we went through the source. He went through the source code with me. Nothing too deep, but he told me how he did some things. I told him how I, how I was going to time slice the off-screen enemies. He thought that was a good idea. He told me the story of how they burned chips the night before Defender was to be introduced. They kind of hand-assembled some last-minute changes and had to remember what they did so they could change it in the source code. It was very pleasant speaking with him, and he gave me some insight. I hope to speak with him again at some point, most likely as I get closer to finishing the port. A couple of times he couldn't remember why certain things were done, and I remember joking with him saying, it's not like it was 40 years ago or anything. <laughs> Uh, so that, that's really cool that he's in touch with the original creative defender. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so the first game we're going to be playing is Game of the Bear oh. by VHZC. Now this is his uh, original mm -hmm. uh, Game of the Bear that's actually on sale at Atari Age right now. Very, very fun. Um, it was nominated for three categories in the Atari Homebrew Awards, uh, this most recent one. Nominated for Best Homebrew Original, Best Graphics Original, and Best Music and Sound Original for 2600, and it won for Best Homebrew Original. Um, so I'm very excited to play the sequel to yeah. that. Uh, the original is described as Ursulo the Bear has been captured by evil, mystical, mad scientist Dr. Wizardo for undisclosed reasons. <laughs> Um, help Ursulo to escape from the cursed lab of Dr. Wizardo. So the sequel currently does not have a description. Um, so is Dr. Wizardo be behind the sequel as well? We will find out. So the sequel is now in Release Candidate 3 uh, already. Um, he didn't start working on it till after the Atari Homebrew Awards, around that time. And it's already in Release Candidate 3. It's like almost done. And it has 50 screens. Um, so it's going to be a big, fun game. Yeah, he started working on it, or at least first posted on it, February 21st. So shortly after the uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. He said, hi, a couple weeks ago, this is his first post, I started to develop a new game, Game of the Bear 2, Much to Bear. Uh, it's a sequel of Game of the Bear. Uh, I'm using the same engine core from the first game, both new mechanics and more emphasis on puzzle-like interaction with levels uh, uh, rather than a pure platformer. But I, I need to clarify, it's not Game of the Bear too much to bear. It's <laughs> Game of the Bear too much to bear. Yeah, yeah, because the other way doesn't really make sense. Game of the Bear too much to bear. Well, it does, actually. I have much to bear, and they're just leaving off the I have. Yeah, but that's not how it's intended. <laughs> no. And nobody can convince me otherwise. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Choking on these nuts. <coughs> so dry. Need water. So let's go for it. Well, you have to press it once more. All your drama was for naught. <laughs> no, I wanted that page to be mm. well. I was the one. I... Never mind. Game of the Bear. Too much to bear. VHZC 2022. Watch when you press the button. Blink. <laughs> Wink. Once upon a bear. Oh, evil. Ah! Ah! He was just waiting for the bus. How dare you? <laughs> oh, nice. Jumpy bear. If I don't jump over those, do I die? Uh, nope. You're still good. So it looks like you have four lives. Yeah, it's always like, which 
way do I go? Well, that looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe dangerous. the other way. Nice. He's got a lot of... Uh, he's incorporating ah. a lot more moving I apologize mechanics. for all walking. <laughs> uh, things that move, things that help you. Ah. Oh, you're on it. Oh, no. I'm going to... I will soon start to blame others. <laughs> he will lash out. <laughs> <laughs> others are Wait. to blame. RC70 says, that was, aw that was awesome. <laughs> Which part? All of it. All of it's awesome. Run! Ah, oh, you got hit in the head. You can. Yep. I don't know if that's enough to... We're going to find out. Ooh, I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> Your head got sliced. Run, little bear, run. No! no! Uh, it's not enough room there. Mm. Go. Wait. Nah. Huh? Well, I turned back. It's a good decision. <laughs> I'll try to jump out the other way and see if you can go there. Oh, in that little part? Yeah. yeah. I think it's too small. It is. Noise limiter activated. What, was I too loud? <laughs> oh, the intro. Yeah, short but cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Oh, it dropped something. Yeah. Now I have to go back? That's that's a signature of VHC ah! games. Uh -oh. It's game over. <laughs> it's game over, man. Game over, man. Okay, well, I'll play one more time. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> they get to see the intro again. There's a very cool spaceship. The skull on it. Very nice. I don't know if it's a spaceship. Looks like you've been transported to uh, Skull, skull Some Island. Sort of castle. Skull Castle. Skull Dungeon. See, the thing is, I could jump that way. You could. You could try that. Hmm. <laughs> I think something was supposed to happen Didn't there. Oh, almost into the grindy gears. Oh, yeah, Thrust says he's just prepared. He's preparing his noise limiter, just in case. There's ah, I did! <laughs> oh, no, you gotta run! I know, you gotta run, and if you fail that first jump... You're dead. Like, there's no turning back. Yay, run, bear, run. Oh, there's enough room there. Drop. I'm going to have to go back. This is the part where I failed last time. But it should be easier because... It should be. But I don't <laughs> need that sort of extra stress. <laughs> it should be all right. It's, you it's, should be able to do it. Why are you unable be, to do that? Hey, why can't certain... you do simple things? <laughs> why are you unable to do the simplest of things? <laughs> We investigate on this episode of ZPH. <laughs> Don't fall into those grindy gears. No! no, no. I said don't what? fall into what? those grindy gears! No! Why? I did it again! <laughs> Why are you doing that? Don't jump! <laughs> there you go. I thought that that's where you jumped from. Whee! So that's what I dropped from before. Yep. The heavy um, Thank you for making diamond? it possible to jump off the ball up there. <laughs> <laughs> and not just death, more death. Oh, punchy hands. Yay. Uh-oh. That didn't work. Oh. Oh, what's happening here? Yeah, he's introduced a lot of movement mechanics in his last couple of games where you can push things oh, right into him. Don't touch that thing. It's no. not enough to avoid the bullets. He'll bite you. He's a bit bitey. He's a little bit hungry. Oh, I was waiting for the bus. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you can go right through. Let me see that again. Well, Ow! the alternative <laughs> is you are crushed. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather that. Which than is possible. I'm, yeah. It wouldn't be unfair. I don't know if there has been. I wouldn't have gotten as far crushed. as I could if that. <laughs> in the days. Yeah, there's been crushing. I mean, there's there's things that punch you, but I don't know about crushing. Hmm. Hey, kittens, what are you doing? Just don't bite that, okay? Ah! None of the biting. He usually doesn't bite it, he just plays with it. 
Hmm. And rubs his rubs his nose on it. But make sure he doesn't bite it. Mm -hmm. He is a bitey cat. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Uh, licking comes before biting. Mm -hmm. Watching you. I'm watching you, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy cat. Yeah. Oh, the drill. Oh. I bet I press that button. Don't hit those things. No. Generally, try to avoid everything in the game. Oh, it's a little reprieve there. Another trademark of VHZC is reusing levels. So you pass by mm -hmm. one part. That's great, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the drill is up. Now you have to race back before it drops again. Sometimes you do. Let's see if I have to do that. Those those are... Oh my oh god. My goodness. <laughs> One oh, pixel there. away. I felt uncomfortable. I had to move away. Bear is half as furry as it used to be. I <laughs> barely escaped that. These are moving a little bit slower, or they have further to travel. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's still up. Ooh, vines. Love the vines. So I'm going to go right to the top. Oh my god, you fall off them. You can't jump off of them. Okay. <laughs> okay, there's a button. There's nowhere to jump. Oh, I can jump. Ah! What? Oh, a bomb! You're going to blow a hole in that platform. Yeah, oh, it is a bomb. Okay, you go down there. I'll Woo! Stick. Nice. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I love the broken piece. <laughs> I remember when he posted a screenshot of that. I was like, oh my god, that looks so good. Oh boy. Oh no. What if I can just do... Well, I can't just do the top ones because there's not enough time. That's not too bad. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, it's dangerous. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, it looks a little choppy. It's a lot of variety. Yeah, in VHZC games, there's like every screen is so different. Oh, I hate these. I'm so bad at landing on these. Okay. Okay, did that... I don't know if that Jump helped. back that way. You need yeah. to jump out and land oh, further away, that. I think. Oh, God. Much better, yeah. There's no way I would have been able to yeah. jump over that far. That's cool. Mm -hmm. A moving platform. Moving platform, and you have to land on it in the right spot. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, Cruel, boy. but really cool. I have to do, jump on two things in a row. There we go. Actually, three in a row to get off the second one. Very nice. It's like a flying ball. Okay, another platform I need to hit to open. Oh, God. Oh. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. That's easy. So you go down. Yeah. Stop there. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, but I bet it, it, it's harder. Oh, God. What? Oh, timer. Oh, my. That's a short timer. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Oh no! Like it's short. I bet it's too short. It is. What? Is, what is it opening? This. That. Do it again. Oh what? Okay, it's like a combination. Oh god, he did that on purpose. Did you see that? You see where it started going that way? Man, badness. Okay, go 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 go. Jump. Oh, you have to do it. What? Oh, God. Go. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know how it solved it. I don't know how, what that first thing had to do with the second thing, but I opened it. Ah! Oh, that's really close. Oh, boy. Okay, disappearing platform. 11,000, that was the code it gave you. That's what RC77 said. Oh, okay, okay. Luck, you had to watch the numbers. Because I thought it was a countdown, right? I, know. I said it was a countdown. Yeah. That was my fault. 
Ah! Okay. Uh, what? I can't get up there Not to get yet. through that. What is... What? What the what? What the what? Maybe I have to press it again. Maybe you have to fall down. Ah! Uh, <laughs> that's a possibility. But why would you want to need to press the... Oh, I gotta go back or something. I don't know what to do. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, that was close. Okay. Oh, that was a clue. It was a clue. Because the, when you go to the left on, from the first map, there's lightning. I don't know how you get back up, though. 11,000. Yeah. So you gotta jump up there. And go back. And go all, all the way, way back. Oh, God. Okay. All the way back to the beginning, right? Yeah. No, all the way back to the I beginning. Know. Because yeah. when you went through there, it was like you turned off the power. Mm. And the thing stopping you from going left was a big lightning bolt power thing. Right. I might be wrong, but I feel as though I figured something out, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> it's, it's a if long it's wrong, way, I'm going to be... It's a long way back. I'm going to be so sad. Me too. <laughs> oh, i got to do this again. I eat all the nuts, though. So if you want some, you're going to have to... Um, Ask me to go good. get more, which I will do. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's pretty rough. It's a rough one, especially for a cat who hasn't been fed. No treats today. Nobody wants to give you treats. Oh, we all want to give you treats. Oh God, I slipped off. Oh, damn it. Right, watch those vines; they're slippy. They are. Okay, everything's everything's pretty cool. Oh, I can just go right through these. Not these. Oh, you died. Ah. If you die before getting back to the start, I'm I'll be fine with that. I, I I'll be a little disappointed, but ultimately fine. Ultimately fine. Yeah. I mean, it would be a very annoying because you won't be able to see whether the thing I did was the right thing and I'd have to do it all over again. And oh, that's why I'll be sad. Oh my god, that was close. And then I have to go back again through all this. Why? Because... I can't remember. They, I, it's tree there. time. Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. Time. Well, we were about to find out. Now, wait, wait. There's a choice. Ah, for who? For the person who gave it tree time. Al Nefer gets to choose. Is it going to be getting the cat high or getting the cat some treats? It's a very short high. Apparently it only lasts about 10 minutes. Only about 10 minutes, yeah. Is it this or is it this? this? 10 treats. minutes on the lips or a lifetime on the hips? <laughs> <laughs> Catnip or treats? Your choice, Al Nefer. Treats, treats, it's treat time. Here you go, buddy. Go. You're gonna hit that. You know, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Yay! There you go, mister. These are the treats you get. We'll show the first couple treats in big, and then we'll switch back to the game. Which treat, Al? Oh, we know. It's the treats, treats. Ding. Yay! You are. Okay. We'll switch back to the game. Let's see. Oh, this was it, right? That was the laser? Yep. Nice. Made the right choice. I was right! But there's I figured a lock. everything out! There's a lock! But there's another path here. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Hit the thing. Oh, those are tall. Come on. Give us a wow us all with the ding ding. There you go. Actually, he, taught, he jumps pretty high, actually. Oh, there's a button. This better give a lock, uh, a key. Oh, I'm transported. Oh, God. Oh, level two. <laughs> I have 901 seconds left to do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, more fire. Oh, boy. Oh, God. This is a lot. One. There you go, mister. Good job. Oh, boy. Good job, super cat. Three. 
One, two. I like the. Uh, okay. I like that the whole thing lights up. It's that little <laughs> amber eyeball in addition to the flames. Oh, how am I going to do this? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I think I can make it in time. Oh. Yeah, you were doing it right. You just need yeah. to do it better. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh -oh. Yay! Yeah, this one's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> As I die. Oh, so you need to go in the hidey hole for a second. Run! And a push button. Oh, a transporter. I will not take that just yet. Or maybe you will. Uh, uh, no, I think that transports me back to a mm -hmm. place I want to go. Mm -hmm. You're not ready yet. You need uh, a key. Can I hit that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Keep going. Yep. Oh, watch ooh, out for almost that. Almost hit thing. my head. Don't let that thing hit you. No. I think it. I think that might take one of your precious few lives. Oh God! Oh my goodness! Run! No. <laughs> oh God! It's coming this way. Yep. That is cool. That is really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Jump, jump. I jump. mean, I hate you, but that was really cool. <laughs> oh boy! This looks like a spring that automatically springs me up. I suspect that will damage you. <laughs> oh no! I can't just walk onto it. Can't get up here yet, so that's where I need to go. Not that way. Oh boy. There you go. Good decision. Oh, okay. Not bad. Moves pretty slow. And it has a whole other path that needs to go down here. Oh boy. Phew! That's great. <laughs> It is. Oh god. Oh, this involves ducking. Right? Yeah. A bearing. Bearing? Bearing with it. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> Oof. You just gotta... Inanimate you, carbon rods. You just gotta get through it. Barely is perfectly fine. <laughs> just barely get through it. Yep. Don't need to... Do anything fancy. Oh, God, really? You got your head sawed off. Oh. Should I do one more? Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Oh, my I'm, God. I'm not going to show the people anything they haven't already seen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do one more. <laughs> we'll power through it. I bet there's some... Trust would like you to know that there were some stupid deaths there. <laughs> there were. I apologize for all of them. There were some very stupid deaths. But that last one was not stupid. It went right to the edge of the screen. So I had to, like, think of my feet there. Um, Ivory Tower Collection says, You should have gone to the left to that brown-orange transporter. It would have refilled all the lives. Oh, well, that'll be good for when I do this playthrough. Because it looked like a way back. So I don't have to walk all the way. He does that sometimes in the game, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, like that? Thrust? <laughs> <laughs> like that bad death? Okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> I won't reset again. Oh! Uh -oh. Kill him. How did... So you click on How his name. How did you know that that happened? I clicked what? Click on his name. Just right click? Uh, I think it's just click. Might be right click, but it's mostly right click click. Um, and then bam. Then... And executed. <laughs> no, don't do that. Getting there? Yeah, I got it. Nice. 
I totally just banned somebody. Feel the power. Yep. <laughs> Mighty power. Yep. Superpowers. You go up there for no reason. Atari was trying to hypnotize me. I showed him. You can only half hypnotize me. <laughs> he's trying for the treats. You know he is. Oh, no, he's not. Coffee for cats? Um, yeah. Cat friendly coffee? I'm sure it's cat friendly, but. Uh... <laughs> oh no! There are some cats who eat coffee in South America. Coffee beans. I don't know if it's intentional, but it must have been unintentional uh, to begin with. Remember what the cats are called. Sorry, so how did you notice that a spammer had spammed? <laughs> I don't know. I just looked over at that. I haven't looked over before. Because I didn't or see since. you look I didn't see you look over. I looked over and I was like, oh no, you didn't. And then you just like <laughs> sensed it. You're like, your oh. sixth sense kicked in. You're like, oh my god, there's a spammer nearby. Because <laughs> you looked over probably. Oh, okay. And then I looked at what you were looking at, right? Uh, D-Train, we, um, played some video games. <laughs> and we talked what did about, I miss, right? There was, yes. And we, we talked about some stuff. It was video game related. Atari video game related. Zero, one, 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 one. And a cat, uh, tricked the humans into giving it treats. Yep, by being cute. By being cute. Zero, one, 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 one. Yay! Oh, that's funny that you had, uh... You accidentally figured out how to get through it that, that previous time. <laughs> Completely accidentally. <laughs> so this room is just an indicator. Yeah. That it's off. Mm -hmm. Power's off. So there's no path up there I that mean, you need to go. I mean, if this was Half-Life 2, you'd be like, oh, the power went off. I bet that now I can get through that whatever thing or my bob or my boober. And that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> so it good. completely is. <laughs> it's so good. It's very good. It's very, very clever. Spam and stupid deaths. <laughs> That's what he missed, yeah. Oh, Did you uh, uh, go through the beam? No, because you're not there yet. No, that happens yet. after you get back. So right now you might be doing worse than you were doing before. <laughs> I am, I am. <laughs> I am doing worse than I did before. Although that jump was magnificent. It was stupendous. Cannot be beat. Ever. Through the hole. I know it's not much, but my favorite... And there's lots to like. Tons but of things. But my favorite thing so far is the blowing up... Blowing a hole through that thing That's and cool. how it looks after you've done it. Yeah. Me too. Like, <laughs> it's such so a simple-ish thing, but it's just so visually effective. Go up there. Pacha! Oh yeah, this one you push. Up. In the gym. squeaked a bit. It was very squeak, excited. Squeak, squeak, You're gonna use me. Nope. And the laser's off. And and can't go up there yet. Key. And there's... Those are... I think spikes. things? Two spikes I spare, overlaid? I think it's spare um, mammoth ivory that they've stacked in piles. I think so. And everybody knows that mammoth ivory is toxic to... Oh. <laughs> it's, just, it's really just spiky and mm -hmm. sharp and... Maybe that key is how you get back? Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. 
Don't ignore me. <clears throat> but ignore me. <laughs> ignore certain parts. I'm almost back where I was. Okay, this time I will take the transport. Or, oh, it gave me one life. You got one life. That's can good enough. Can I have enough. another, please? Can I have another? Oh. Oh, I can have another. Oh, you can. <laughs> can I have even more? Is there five available? You die. You die. <laughs> Goes to z resets to zero. You get all your lives back, but <laughs> if you are too greedy, death for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can spam it. Nice. Ah. Okay. This is not too bad because you can duck. It's not a, a go fast kind of thing. Just because of the timing. You have to duck twice for sure. Maybe if you're fast, you only need to do it once. Now, what was this? I had to go up? I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah, I think you had to go up. Ugh. But you didn't have to get punched in no. the wing. And it was to the left. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Can I go back? Get more lives. I was thinking the same thing. I don't see any reason not to try. Oh, I can't go back. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Smart. It's a one-way system. Maybe I can go back now. Maybe I can drop down. I would like more lives. <laughs> Infinite lives. <laughs> as long as you're, it's still available. I mean, was, isn't that smart? It's a smart thing to do. It's a smart thing to do. Now you won't be able to get back across. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny if he did that. And he's like, oh, you got greedy, did you? Well, you're not getting... We punish greed. We punish it with frustration. <laughs> We take an equivalent amount of time from your life uh, to you doing this again. <laughs> yeah. So you playing to this point again. I mean, it does count down. So, I mean, if you do waste yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, oh, to this, this part. These, See, this they thing... go right to the edge. So you have to duck as soon as you get on that screen. Yeah. I killed you before. Yeah. Ah! That was close. <laughs> A lot of closeness. Ah. Two bombs. Two bombs and a smusher. Something that smushes the bombs. Yeah, so do I have to push I think the bombs over? I I feel like yeah, and, and but then you have to push, push them over. That? Yeah. And then I don't know if I can just push one I bomb. I suspect I suspect that you have to avoid... So you push that thing, maybe. Try yeah. pushing the pusher. Uh, oh, and then uh, get ready to jump. Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay, I like that better. Oh, Uh-oh. Uh Pull the bombs. <laughs> Pull them back. Oh, no. <laughs> I can reset You them. chose poorly. I, I did. Know. I did choose poorly, but... <laughs> but, oh, okay, just leave the screen and reset. Okay. Oh, you can push that all the way in. Okay. Okay. Ah. Boom. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Everything about that was awesome. <laughs> you chose poorly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's there are skulls in this room, so this, it, this ah. might be... Oh, Yay! I was going to say, it's got to be something important. Another key? <laughs> okay. And now it's back I to... Think... Uh, yeah. Back to where I couldn't get to. Yeah. Nice. Do I have... Where's... where's? Yeah, you got to jump up there to get back. Up? Yeah, because you have to go back to the teleporter, right? I don't know. This is the oh, only way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless there's... Is there something on that side? No, it's dead ends. 
dead ends. So I have to go down? Like, uh, it was down, yeah. right? Yeah, I think up, what, well, you could go up and see what's up there. Yeah, I'm pretty I don't sure think, it was no, down. No, up is where you just came from. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm full. You're full. Oh god, this one backwards. Okay. One beside me doesn't light up very often. Or ever? Okay, never. Uh okay. That, that, that. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And then you just go. Yep. You have to make sure, because the one up there lights twice. Yeah. And so you need and, to go. And then after that. You're going to catch fire if you stay there, right? Nope. Okay. Okay, now you just make the logical ah! trip back. <laughs> no logic, just run. That's what I mean, though. It's like you go wherever you, wherever <laughs> it takes you, and that's the right way. I was, I was lucky because I was just, I was just jumping. <laughs> back, and... The... I think it's up there where that button is. Ah, oh nice. no, it's not. I see. It's... Yay! Hooray! Oh, total. What? Just a whole screen transition. Well, instead of you teleporting, the world <laughs> teleported, and you and stayed. you stayed in one place. Yep. Yeah, that's 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 one way to do it. Uh, so the arrows say go this way. Well, don't have much choice. Oh god, it's boss time. And you just die when you touch him? Oh, I gotta touch this. Oh my god. Okay, I don't have much time, so I'm gonna give myself a bit more time than that. You fall down. Phew! <laughs> wasted two lives on that. Can I go back to the live generator? <laughs> I don't think so. Go oh, back to Earth. He's very excited. He's, 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 he's going to get some peeking at the basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to Earth. Oh, look, a little Ooh, a tree. tree. Oh, no. That's this not... island is too small. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Yay, 734. <laughs> that was awesome. That was really, really, really fun. Now in the um, After Dark, I don't need to play this game. It'd be Tanya who needs to play through it. Mm -hmm. See if she can make it through. It's not... There's some tricky parts. But it's overall, it's not as punishing as some of the HZC's games. Really, really, really good game. Awesome game. Once again, VHZC. Too easy for you, James. <laughs> well, if he didn't go give those extra lives, I think it would be fairly challenging because I, I would have died because I was down to two mm -hmm. and then you and died I two times and, and I died refilled two refilled again, again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would have died but I would have had to play it again very very nice super awesome game so the next game is actually a one or two player game so I'm going to plug in the second joystick um the minions. The minions run the store. Same people that run the store when I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They run it well. They do a good job, right? Yep. All right. Okay. So, the next game uh, is Dramino's. Um, so, it was... Let me read this out. Let's load it up, actually. Wait, wait, wait. I've changed the cartridge. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, Dramino's was posted on March 16th as a finished version of the game. It's just done. A game of controlled chaos. Dr Did you press a button? I didn't do nothing. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was the one 
do we get back? Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. All right. That was a very short title screen. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it now, so pay attention so you don't lose it. Do it. A Game of Controlled Chaos. Dramino's Program and Art. Alec. Oh my god, that's so short. Um, you are not permitted to know this information on your first play. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we're going to play game one, which is against the computer. So go for it. Dramino. Kitties. So those are cards. Calm down. Uh, those are cards on the bottom. And you flip, you choose one and flip over. Don't press down because it shuffles all of them. Oh, okay. I won't press down anymore. Don't bite me. I'm going to choose this cat. one. That's a good one. Uh, apparently not. So you want to get the high card. So you picked a 10, he picked an 11, your card disappeared. You picked an 8, pretty good, but he picked 11. Well, he's always going to pick 11. <laughs> well, he's a computer, he actually doesn't. Yeah, he, <laughs> he has does. a lot of 11 cards. Oh, I, no. I, I don't believe I can win that one. Oh, yeah, of course he picked 10 this time. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what's happening. I don't <laughs> know why picking. the computer has 10 and 11. Is there information I'm missing? No. You're, no. I just have all 1s and 8s. <laughs> oh, a 2. <laughs> God. This is the worst game I've ever seen of this. It's... Oh, my God. Like, there must be something I'm not getting. <laughs> oh, clean sweep? Is it going to be? Well, you don't have a It's choice. not clean sweep. It's he has 10s and 11s. That's not a clean sweep. That's a stacked deck. <laughs> it's a stacked deck. <laughs> a two. <gasps> wow. And another 11. That, that can't is, be right. Hazel wins. That is the worst game you can possibly play. I don't think Hazel was playing. I think she was cheating. <laughs> yes, I think so, too. Two players or one player in the computer starts with ten numbered cards, Dramanos, placed face down. During each turn, both players pick a Dramano to show each other. I was doing something, though. I was always picking from the ends. So uh, what I may have discovered is don't pick from the ends because they're always terrible cards. Yep, difficulty switch is B. Seven. Yay, you won a, a round. Yay. Oh, I didn't get that one. What you want to do is find a nice high card and stick with it. Oh, seven? No. Uh, the player whose face-up Dramino has a higher, or lower depending on the game mode, number than the other f others flips it back, face down. The other player discards theirs. That was a tie. The player who can make their opponent run out of Dramanos wins the game. Left and right, move selection cursor. Fire, select Dramano. Down, reshuffles remaining Dramanos. Can be done any time. Though best use in the case of a draw. The hope of improving your chances of winning. Yay! Um, select switch or left joystick left and right on the game. Select screen is choose game mode. or in game mode one. Because we're going to play so high cards. So eight is the highest I have. Oh, it's the no. highest I've, ha I've checked all of them. So unless they're moving. And what is his highest that you've seen? Eleven or ten. Well, yeah. then you're gonna, and a nine. Then you're going to lose. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you get random cards? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Shuffled out of a, a deck. So, eventually, he will just win. Okay. Which is one drawback of this game, I think. Is that it is predetermined. There's... there If the person who has the highest card out of all of them will always win. Yeah. So... No matter what order you flip them over, yeah, it won't matter. It's that means it's not a game. <laughs> that that's you're just it, the robot. Am I that, wrong? You're just the meat robot. Yes. Am I wrong in in this thinking? But even if you don't find the eleven, if you have it, you'll eventually get to it. And if they don't have an eleven, if they have everything you go, lower, boom, 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 you just boom, 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 boom that one and win. So play number two. Oh no, because that's lower cards. Two? Yeah. What so on, on this... Oh, shuffle mid-game. I don't know if it's shuffle... Oh, oh, that's what it okay. is. Okay. That's the thing. So as soon as you see him... Oh, so you want the lowest in this? Lowest, yeah. 
So if you have a one, don't shuffle. And if you don't find a one, maybe it's good to shuffle. I thought shuffle meant rearrange the cards you have, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that works. Two. That's an awesome card. Just run that to the ground. I mean, he has a two as well. But, but I he would... got that card that he had turned into an eight, and it used to be a two. Did he shuffle? Maybe it just shuffles your cards. I'll just stick with that two. Smack him down. See, he still has a two. Hmm. So you want to get rid of that other card. Is he going to not pick a two? I mean, the... the oh, well, I the, think he's just like... I think it's random. It, it random and then it back... Tracks but until tracks it finds a card. So the chances yeah. of you landing on the other one is is low, but yeah, almost. Um, but it will happen. That's a two. <laughs> We're looking for a one. Well, I would just stick with that too. Hey, Cafe Man Two D, welcome to the show. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But it doesn't matter because once we get to his last card, uh, you'll have to shuffle. No, I don't have to do nothing. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. It's a draw forever. <laughs> no, what I mean is that, like, I mean, if you don't have a one, but I have to. You have to look at your cards. You don't. I don't know what those are until I play them. So that's, that's true. what I'm doing. I'm trying to see if I have a one. Yeah. I don't know if it shuffles both players' cards yet. It doesn't specify what shuffle means. And both those cards are twos. Oh, well, then you either have a one or you have to shuffle. You have to shuffle. So down. So I, I, so he won't shuffle, and therefore I have to, <laughs> I have to lose the game because, <laughs> because that's what he already, like, unless I shuffle and I mean, get it. why would he ran, shuffle? Yeah. But why would he? Because he's currently losing. I mean, you. Why could... would anybody shuffle? <laughs> Nobody would. Right. In so a two-player game. Well, then let's it's... see what happens. Your move, buddy. <laughs> it's a draw. Then it's a draw. <laughs> you could say it's a draw, and go meh. But let's do a shuffle just, just to see. You've already gone for a draw. Okay, it shuffles yeah, well, your cards, I but hit. it doesn't shuffle his. Yeah. Is this a one or nope, does Darcy lose? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to play a two-player game and um, make this interesting. Okay, press your button. Uh, go for number three for high card wins. And four would be two-player low card wins. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And five... Oh, we're picking individually, and then it goes turn. Yeah. Okay. That's how it happens. So I got a five. I don't like that. Uh, still not very high. Oh, you've got a ten. That's really high. Goes up to seems to go 11 up to eleven so far. Oh, a one. Uh. Nine. A one. Oh god. See, does anybody see how this is a, like? There's more to it than this. This doesn't seem like I'm gonna a game shuffle. to me. <laughs> a it's, two. It's it's gambling, but without any information. Two. At all. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like you're gambling. Well, you do have some information if you cha turn over a card and it's kind of okay. You or only awesome know ten. that you randomly. Oh, I I now know because I've picked that card that it's good and you can keep going back to it. But you have no, there's no strategy towards the future uh, apart from random gambling. <laughs> and the best time to gamble in theory would be early on when you have lots of cards. Finally. Okay. Right? So now is there a 12? Because I'm just there gonna... hasn't been. Yeah, of course. That's what I was doing. Only yours is a better <laughs> tactic. This is the point. Like I, I was gonna lose the whole time. 
Yeah. And the only thing I could do about I it... I did shuffle. Is to, right, but the only thing I could do is take a random chance that I don't even know if it worked. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I don't know. To my 11. I think you were celebrating and... Uh, you ac you accidentally reached you over did. and pressed down? No, you pressed down, I think. Well, I don't know about this 7. Until mm. I have looked at these cards, which I don't think I have because I only won when I found the 10. Ooh, I think I'm going to stick with this 7 for now. 7's not low, but it's also not very high. Uh-oh. Here it goes for everything. Uh -huh. no. Go ahead, <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I shuffled. Will so did you I. shuffle? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yours didn't shuffle much. You had a 7 still. <laughs> You should be able to shuffle the opponent's cards. Yes. But all that does is make the decision to shuffle your decision. It's it's still it's still like you don't have any information. <laughs> and all the information you have the only thing you could your only decision is do I delete the information I have? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only thing yes. is the only information the only way you can control it is by going no. No information. <laughs> I want no information. Yeah. Okay, let's play again. Let's see if we can dig deeper into this. Three. Why or three? Can, three or four. Three is high and four what? is low and for two is... players. That's low one player. Okay. Yeah. So we're playing low cards now. Low cards. One, yeah. we want a one. If you got a one, you win. This is where the, the one's whole high. game. See, Darcy's got a three, which is really, really good. But he. Oh, he's going to play it. So I have no information. So just turning over. I think that I think in theory the right thing to do is for me to search through the rest of the cards, see if I have something one. else. Yeah, because you've got that three. But right? the only thing, and, and it gives me okay, sure. Now I've got a two, and I'm definitely not going to shuffle. Two is unless you've got a one, and then I shuffle. And now I search for a one because I know I have a two. <laughs> what? <laughs> Back to my two. <laughs> okay. Did I turn over that? Yes. I was at three. How did it turn into a one? I shuffled. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, then I lose. Unless I have a one and then it's a draw. That's right. Doi. This is what <laughs> I've been saying. This is what we've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a game. It's kind of a, it's a game of luck. But that's that's uh, it. sure by like, a certain definition of game. Yeah, but there's no like you have no some you strategy. have very little contribution. <laughs> yes, yeah, very. You little. have so little contribution <laughs> that like. You could learn very quickly the thing you can do, and then and anybody can, like, even a like, small stupid child can, and like therefore it just comes down to: Did you do a stupid thing? <laughs> oh, you did. Or not? You still might win. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll keep turning. Where'd your one go? Don't know. Something. Maybe is... I bumped it. No, it's happened too many times now that, like, we waited too long. Like, is this a two still? That's still a two for me. Why did yours change? Nobody knows. I mean, I I must have bumped it. Or is that what? What is happening? Maybe, maybe you bumped it. Okay, let's do it again. Low cards, high cards. High cards. Okay. High. Does it matter? Not, not really. <laughs> you just have to know what game. We're maybe playing. I'm missing something. I, 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 you got an eight, which is pretty good. Five, not as good. That was one is terrible. Ten, stick with my ten. And Darcy got eleven. Now I seek. Now I hunt for an eleven. <laughs> not find it i will lose and if you do find it I you don't lose we tie but you don't win <laughs> <laughs> all 
And you found it, and so it's a tie. <laughs> no, I win because I have more cards. <laughs> that that uh, is not. I don't the care winning... if you accept it. I, I don't <laughs> care if he accepts it. I accept it. <laughs> I declare myself to have won. That's how I do it. It's, it's the best way to win. <laughs> uh, hmm. There are difficulty switches for single player modes uh, that affects when the computer player will shuffle. Hmm. Um, but nothing about two player modes where, yeah. I think this game is for, it's, it's for like a strip game. It's supposed to be <laughs> random. So nobody has an advantage. Or it, it's a good <laughs> game for little kids. Like they won't care as much about. They might not care, but what, what it teaches them that games are. <laughs> Like, each card can only be used... Yes! Where the cards wear down. That would work. But this game, if you that knew what work. your cards were, would work. It w and, and it's still very random. Oh, no, no, because you you can shuffle. You can shuffle. You could choose to shuffle. Like If you know what your cards were, you'd play the 11. But, or the highest but, every no, time. Okay, so sorry, would the opponent. A slight, no, but the, but the, my assumption yeah. in a game like this is you play the card, it's gone. You won yes. that hand. You got like you get the you you get that trick or whatever. You get that you. point. You get that point. And so you have to know when to play. Yes. That's not what this game is. This is just a comparison and you keep all your cards. Yes. But there are games like this. Like there's there six nymphs. And like in it, it's pretty random, but it's not that random because the same because people who are good at it win. Can, like no. over and over, right? And it, it's like you put the card down and it's gone. And whatever happens that's your point but you still only have the cards in your hand that are left any yep. card you play is taken out or what have you so you could go, when you get an 11 it doesn't win you the game but it wins you like a point a point or what have you yeah and that then you're work. guessing when are they going to play their big one or their small one to get yeah. rid of it yeah. yeah there's another one called uh, it's for sale and the first part of the game is your you are taking you have coins yeah. to skip taking uh a uh, a card right um and when you take a card, you take the worst one. And so paying a coin lets you stay in until you want the best one. Or, or, or maybe it's the reverse. But the first part is you're taking oh. houses. And they're numbered from 1 to 30. Mm -hmm. And then the second half of the game, you have the cards you have with the houses on them. And now there's checks that get put out. And the checks are random. They can be anywhere from 1,000 to like 20,000 or something like that. And when they come up, all of them will be in front of you. And then you decide which house you're going to put for sale. And everybody puts one in. So... If you've got a one, that's a crap house. But sometimes it'll be like 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, 17,000. And you're like, well, I guess the one's coming out because 15,000 is pretty good for, for my crappiest card. Okay. And so there's like, yeah. Some strategy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this this would work with knowing all your cards, but the other person would have to look the away. The rule would have to be different. Oh, you, you You'd know, have to look I mean, away it, with the two player game. It's not going to work on the screen. With a computer, unless you, you network totally it with play it. The, the thing, yeah. Yeah, you could play it with the plus card over yeah. the internet, and that would mm -hmm. be awesome, right? But as it is, there's not, there's not enough. There's not enough skill. There's a lot of chance. There's a ton of chance, and there's like, oh, I've won or I've lost, kind of point when you get to it. It just needs you. Just need somehow to have some information because other because the the, the only strategy I could that I slowly, you know, uh, <laughs> got over my, you know, self, yeah. <laughs> uh, was that once you find a good number, you start looking at the other ones and hope that you win them by chance. And then, uh. it, and then you can see, oh, I mean, once you get the 11, That's right. once you get the top number, you just stick to it. There's no point. Top, yes. The, but but if, if you're you at the don't 10, have the top, what you do is you start working down and hope that you win some, yep. so that if you do have to scramble, you know that you, you have, can go up. You have a fallback to a 10 or yeah, a 9. You see that you don't have the top number already. Yeah. yeah. How do you pronounce the name? I pronounced it Drum... Let's see. Where is it? Dramanos. Drama Dramanos. Dramanos, but it's... Or Draminos. It could be either way. Like Dominoes. Dra Draminos? Well, probably Draminos. Okay, the background of this, though Though this is my first post here, I actually dabbled a fair bit in uh, Batari Basic several years ago, and pretty recently decided to pick it up. I originally made this game in real life back in 2014. Decided to give the Atari 2600 port a shot. Uh, it had way too much randomness, which kind of defeated the point of the original concept. Just a couple weeks ago, I revisited the source code, completely overhauled it so that it would play as originally intended. I even went beyond 
that and give it a touch of personality and characters. So he has um, uh, an issue with randomness, but that's not anything to do with the way the game's played. But uh, it's uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I think with a couple tweaks to the rules. Yeah, you just need you just need some information. Yes. Yeah. Or because otherwise, like, it doesn't feel like you're making a decision. Or like Thomas said, you can only use the card twice or something or, or yeah twice let's say if like if you know. can't see the cards you you can use it twice like it goes to a half card right like you can show it by a half card and that'll even be make it easier for you to remember which one it is um that would then introduce you would, some tactics because then you would the first time you use it would be random and the second time you use it would be tactical yeah the problem yeah. is the other person can see that you're picking that card too and so they can go, right. oh, they picked that one, and I know that's an 11, so I'm going to play my crappy card or whatever. You could make it so it doesn't make a noise, because right now, watch when you pick it, you know that the other person has picked it. Um, if you do it like, oh, click, and you can still move it around, and the other person can't see that you picked it, you know you've picked it. Just like Press in some... Press again? I think I heard you press the button. I know. I know. <laughs> um, in some, in some baseball games where both players are on the screen at the same time, um, or you could press like up or something. It sounds different than the button. Like you, you kind of would be able to tell if you're paying attention because you stop on it, right? It's hard to do. But in some baseball games where where you have a uh, low pitch, high pitch, left, right, you won't know which one they chose. Because you have to choose one and only one. Yeah, and this yeah. one, it's a little different because you can see them moving around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, very interesting. It has some great uh, potential. If up moved it to, that would work. Yeah, if, if it like popped it up a bit, that would be cool. But you'd still be able to see it. Um, it has some potential with a slight rule change or completely showing the cards. You could, yeah, hmm. yeah the, the other person would have to look away. There's no way for you to select a card without me knowing it. Mm -hmm. Just by hearing the joystick. With original joysticks, they're pretty silent. These are clicky-clicky joysticks. No, I mean up selects and, and goes left or right. Selects. Like you press... So you press up and it shifts the cards this way, but it doesn't show anything on the screen. Mm. If you if you like use the joystick to, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, you press up, it goes left or right randomly. Or so not that randomly. You, or not randomly. So that you know where it is, but the other person maybe doesn't. Yes. It always goes to the right, unless you're on the rightmost side. No, it should it should go randomly. Because you know you pressed up, but and you know which one you If it goes randomly, then you don't know where it goes. But the point <laughs> is so that you can change it, not so that you don't know where it is, but so that your your opponent doesn't know where it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you push it up. Yep. And then nothing changes on the screen, but inside the numbers go to the right or. Oh no! Or God no! That's terrible. That'd be. Well, then be... you wouldn't know, but I would know where they went because I'm the one that pushed it up. Uh yeah, I get. You'd have to keep track of where I all your. I think that's what. Um, uh, I, RC70 was no, saying, I think I he means up selects that card, but it looks like you just went left to right again. Ah. Right? Like, if I went like that, like that, you don't know uh, if I've okay. selected, I gotcha. yep. selected one of these cards or not, because it just yep. looks like I'm moving. Yeah. Um, yes, that would work. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Completely. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah. And you could show all the cards at that point. That would be awesome. But, unfortunately, it's a 2600, and then showing all the cards is not simple. It would have to have, like, alternating up-down Or cards. the game comes with 3D glasses, except one set's all red and one set's all blue, and you have to wear them. Yep. And you can't see what the other person's cards are. Oh, I never thought of using 3D glasses for that. That's very interesting. I thought you were going to do, like, 
interlaced polarized glasses where it flickers and only one person can see. Well, it's like that, but yeah, but just the 3D glasses. <laughs> wow. You'd have to get the right glasses, but the, it wouldn't work because people's screens have different colors. And if it's not the exact same shade, you will see blue through your blue glasses. But the way the, way the 3D right. glasses work is it that probably the red means that this eye can't see the red lines. It can only see the ones that aren't red. Yeah. And this one with the blue lens can only see lines that are not blue. Yeah. Oh, but that they would have work. To be close enough to the color. Yeah. So that it, it blinds you. Otherwise, it would you'd leak see through it. a tiny, tiny bit, yeah. right? They'd have to tune their televisions. <laughs> Pre tuning. Like it has a screen for tuning your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A red screen and a blue screen. Please adjust your blue and yeah. adjust your red. Yeah. Funny, funny, funny. Hey, oh, that's hard to see the gray on the. Can you click on the message so I yep. can? There we go. Oh, there we are. Joff Vermila, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So I think this game has huge potential. I think he's done with it, though. I don't know if he'll take our game altering suggestions <laughs> or not. We're just talking, anyways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, it is time for 1942. We haven't played this in a while, actually. Oh my god, stop it. Um, <laughs> Something's annoying him. Yes. Something that I suspect were it happening to me would annoy me. When but I, it's not, so I'm not annoyed at all. <laughs> when I press on the screen to like move it around, the uh, keyboard comes up. But yeah. I accidentally am pressing lower to move it around, and it starts typing. I know. But I, I don't know where it starts so typing. Much. Yeah. I hate it when you, when you load, something loads in your browser... Hey, or not hey, even that. Just hey, hey, hey. there are all sorts of there are all sorts of apps, but I think it's a lot of the time it's the browser, anyways, where Someone. you go to click something and then the, what's on the screen changes as your fingers going to it. And now you're clicking on oh, like just God. what you had there. Like yes. you go to press the thing and the keyboard comes up and you're typing. Vitoko uh, mentioned that somebody unfollowed during the show because <laughs> <laughs> it's so visible right now because it's a thousand and two. Uh, and, it's, and it was at a thousand and three. It's just like really, really visible. Um, so we have not played this since November second, twenty twenty one, and there have been so many updates uh, made in the game since then. Um, so we're going to be playing this with a Genesis controller because it uses two buttons in the game. On and the this has two buttons, though. Those act like one button on the twenty six hundred. Unfortunately, it is not a Genesis emulating controller. That would make it the super uber ultimate controller for the 2600 if it was. Oh. <clears throat> there we go. All right. We'll see how this um, plays with the plus card. So we are going to make... What are we going to do? We're going to use the plus card um, because... This, now be very careful. My ROMs? Go to uh, public ROMs. Press no, the middle no button. My ROMs, yeah. What's Press that? The middle button, yep. Yeah. And then work in progress. <clears throat> because we're playing it off the plus card because it keeps track of high scores. Um, and we're playing with the Genesis controller because it has both buttons in use. So go to zero to G because it's 1942. Um, so this build is from February 2nd. Is the first one? Yep. 2022, 32K game made by Alan the Fur, Homer Homer, and Pat Brady on sound. NTSC, please. Um, so this was uh, actually nominated for uh, Best Atari 2600 Work in Progress Homebrew Port. It is very, very cool. 1942. I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit. Ooh, I like the information. It has high score uh, support. And? And Genesis. Looks exactly like this, that's, in fact. It's a three-button Genesis. Yeah, very, so very good. cool. This has one of the best music for 2600 game. Really good music. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Paparitti did an amazing job on that music. Um... Yeah, music is awesome, Charles Williams says. Okay, so one, uh, the B button, I believe, is the main button for firing. Mm -hmm. Then the C button is to do a flip in midair if you're in trouble. It's kind of like a shield. Nothing can hit you while you're doing the flip. 
bullets can't hurt you, planes can't hurt you. All right, so it has um, one button is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Um, so shoot everything. And, oh, yes, before you do that, move the joystick to the left to see the high scores. It loaded off the internet just there. Those five high scores with wow. all of those names. Long names, too, right? Isaiah, yeah. STU236, uh, first and second place. Very close scores. S. Ramirez, 2008. S Charles Whelan is in the chat, so he's very good at this game. And S. Ramirez, well. not a surprise. Nobody's surprised at S. Ramirez. He's very on the top. competitive. Those are all very tight scores. Well, pretty tight. I don't know how tight they are. They're tight because... Mm -hmm. It, 10 million, that's... That's a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> there is an end to this game. So oh, yeah, that's yeah. probably... It's like, oh, I shot two more planes than you. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, a little bit higher than you. Oh, STU is Stella user. Oh, okay. Stella user um, 236. Two, three, awesome. Okay. I'm Let's gonna, do it. I'm going to press the fire button. Press the fire. And I will read out all the updates since last time. So you have 32 levels to go. You can do it. Oh, I'm on the aircraft carrier. I was wondering why I couldn't control myself. Yep. Control yourself. Shoot those planes. Do not run into them. Oh, I will not be getting the high score. I let some of them survive. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Get that pow. Pow. More, more powerful bullets. See your bullets got better? They did. I, uh, ironically, so. I was became more deadly by being deadly. And now, I want to warn you, not on this level, I don't think, but there are some planes that come up from the bottom of the screen once in a while, so you don't want to hover completely around the bottom before the wave of planes come on. Yay, you made one level. I am landing for fuel and ammo. This is one of my favorite games, 1942. I play it almost every time I go to the arcade. It is, and, and it's uh, sequels as well, 1943 and... Oh, oh, goodness, oh, oh goodness, oh, my oh, God. they, they You're dodging surrounded. pretty good for a second there. For a second? Takes more than a second of dodging. It has some very cool um, <laughs> next oh, no. next player music. Like, it's exactly to the arcade. Yeah, hey, your pow, you're powerful. I don't know what the uh, um, second... I... I you didn't notice it. a difference between the second one and the first one. Oh. And this time, the, the first one didn't give me the wide bullets. Oh. But it's giving me like sort of like a double bullet. Like it, like like this. And it's got some stats at the end. There's yeah. your score: sixty-six hundred. Stage thirty-one. Shooting shot down sixty-seven planes, and it's game over. So one of those planes I got no points for, and the rest of them were worth a hundred each. <laughs> <laughs> or two for fifty. Uh, I'll seek how to build a multi-button Genesis compatible controller. Yes. I have 1942, my Street Fighter 1-Up arcade machine. I haven't even played it yet. Okay, so I have a question. Yep. Can you play this game without this controller? And if so, what do you do? To That's flip? a good question. Al, do you press the button twice to flip with a single button controller? Or do you just or do you not just get Or suck it up? You're just like, eh, this plane doesn't flip. Sorry, you got I'm a the novice. Got I mean, you the only need plane. as limited as I am right now because you'll note I never once used the flipping <laughs> to escape any danger. <laughs> I certainly true. could have. Um, so, all the updates. I'll, I'll read the uh, the major updates. Uh, the boss plane Ayoko was added in. Attack position sequence was changed. Scroll in players from bottom. Code cleanup and improvements. November fifth. In November 20th, massive code refactoring. New sound effect for landing and tweaks of other sound effects. Switch to a 16K. Uh, change play field height resolution to 4 pixel for smoother scrolling. I'll check out the scrolling again. I have played it, yeah. Um, maybe it was an 8? Ah, I died! Before? Select is for looping too. Oh, I see. So you, if you have the Atari Neri, you can loop with it. Oh, you missed your power. Yeah, it's. I guess it's a good alternative. I don't. I. If you can't complete this game without a pow, <laughs> then uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Could you make a double button, or I guess some people like to not use. The I'm button. holding the button. Yeah, for Is auto that fire. Normal? Uh, I I use it. I I, def I think I use auto fire as well. Just easier. 
especially See, if the I game is super long. I don't know long. what changed there. Oh, oh I More pressed powerful. the A. It was the wrong looping button. <laughs> I think it's C. Yeah, no, I, I definitely should try it. C. Definitely the A loop isn't as powerful as the C loop. <laughs> a loop's super weak. <laughs> it's just, it's very... It's more like a... Uh, it's not very uh, loopy. Uh, I'm definitely... I'm definitely one of those pilots that's just happy to have survived and is not necessarily uh, insistent upon becoming an ace. I think if you're holding the trigger when you do the pow, yeah. you don't get it. Or it's doing something that I'm not recognizing. Maybe it's shooting faster and I don't notice? Uh, the white... Oh, the white pow is looping. Those are different pows. Oh. Red pow is 2,000 bonus. Oh, okay. okay. So that makes sense, then, because there's the red pow that I noticed no change from. Okay. Um, boss plane, Ayoka is bigger without flicker awesome. and shoots. That is very cool. Which one is this? It's the gray. This is... Oh, oh my goodness. You are a bigger target? I have so many friends right now. And they're like... I don't know if I like If one of us blows up. up, we all blow oh. up. Oh, oh, that was harsh. That was harsh. You had very limited time. I shot so many people and so many of them Way were free. <laughs> I realized that That's my... My math is just wrong. And it's I think some of them are worth less than others. Yeah. Gray Pow is wide bullets. Yeah. So, which is the one for just better bullets and not the wide three planes? The wide bullets, is, I think, is... Because you I just only saw the three planes once. Yeah. Um, and I have had, like, the bar bullets. Yeah. That's the best one yes. so far. I mean, I'm not going to complain planes. about having three planes, but like... It makes you a big target. It does seem like they all blew up, but it might have been that if the center one blows up, they all blow up. I may have lost the, the center and the right one, and then of course uh, the left one died because that's not me. Yeah, Al, sure. if any of your planes get hit, is that the side a loss? I think you're right. I think they were black. I'm not sure. Uh, do you have a uh, loss of a life if any of the fighters get hit? I think my center fighter did get oh, hit. okay. So I, I can't really say that I have any information on that. Okay. Uh, so November 25th, uh, it added looping animation, gray. explosion animation. So gray or, is, oh, yeah, gray is the... Uh, okay. We fired, like, bars of brass oh, so you, and bronze at the enemy. So you don't lose a life if your side guys get hit. It, you did get hit on the middle guy. Oh, I don't, this controller does not please me. December 25th, 2021, he added looping with the second joystick button. Fixed shooting during looping and explosion. Bonus scores for big planes and bosses. Extra life every time. It's street time. Points. Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. It's street time. You're so lucky. You're going to have to handle that on your own because... Uh, Thrust has redeemed 5,000 points for a little kitty. He's so, like, I don't care, give me the snacks. Put the snacks in my face! So which do you want? Because he hasn't been given his, uh, his catnip yet. So he still has the, the option on the table for catnip. Or he can have treats. So it is your choice. What does white do? It's the looping power? Cats Let's and see what it does. Cats and it mints? It does that. Cats and mints. <laughs> what, is, what is cats and mints? I know cats. How often can you loop? As often as you want? Mints is treats? Or cat nip. Uh oh. What is that? Cat weed. What does that translate to? <laughs> My German is poor. Very poor. Tree time alert outdoes Darcy in the volume department. <laughs> oh, oh, that's saying something. Oh, desktop audio is so loud. Sorry. Turn it down. Cat nap. Cat nap. It's time for a cat nap. Ding. Well, the thing is, you get a lot of catnip and you only get to ring the bell once. So. Oh, I got an extra dude, I think. I heard a boo-boo. Oh, God, you knocked it's it over. Right Luckily, none of, it, none of it's film. Uh-oh. Well, now we'll find out. Well, we might not, because, uh... Yeah, we did find out. What happened? I, someone already said it, I think. Um, oh, that's what oh, happened to me God. last time, too. I died. <laughs> and then and died then again died again to the fighters behind. Yeah, but somebody I, was talking I definitely about lost that. a fighter on the side. Separate. Ah. Separate, separate from, oh. and then I immediately died with the other two. But <laughs> oh, so you go down to two. Well, that. I lost one, and I was still alive. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? 
I have to go to full screen. Yes, I do. Okay. There's a cat. <laughs> Treat or kitty uppers thrust. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. Ah, oh, I love the cat nap. <laughs> they also like mint tea. One time fuzz. Really? He found a tea bag, a mint tea bag, and he tore it to pieces. And he was like, ah. Because <laughs> it's just in like a cat nap. In fact, but like more. Really? Yeah. Um, some cats hate mint, but it's in the same family as the catnip. That makes perfect sense to me. That makes perfect. You have to go to the side. Oh, okay. that's interesting. I guess you don't accidentally um, press it. Cats and mints. Oh, mints equals mint. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so it must have been like either different cats have a different opinion about mint. They do. Some um, don't even care about catnip. But like Fuzz, he he wreaked totally vengeance on that teabag. <laughs> uh, he seemed very happy, so vengeance is probably not. He's right like, word. I love you, Minties. I love you so much. I love you so much, I just have to kill you. I'm going to roll around and rip you apart. I love so I guess you so if you're much. going for top so score, you really like those uh, red pals. Oh, yeah. like, screw Whole extra bullets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all about the red pals. So I suppose get... ideally you want like a non-red or ah, is it? Do you get ah, the red? Ah, you you could have flipped. Go... Oh, I. God damn it! You did a total Darcy move there, man. Yeah. You forgot about your flip. Totally forgot about the you flip. You one buttoned it, and that was an error. Uh, so that's your flip power. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, he's, he's coughing. Do you, does anyone know, what's the difference between, once you get the white pal for the flip, 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 yeah, what, what, what is the benefit? Is it longer? Or you get an extra it... one. You can see them on the right hand side. Oh, that's what that is. That's not lives. Okay. No, the, the left is lives, I think, and the right is uh, flips. Oh, okay. And how often do your flips come back? Uh, let's see. I think you just get flips. Too dry for the cat. Go have a drink of water. Alan first says Darcy's second score has not been sent, which is too bad because it was like a really oh, high no. Darcy score. <laughs> <laughs> we lost connection. It does that. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, power. Which I'm going to lose because I'm going to crash. Now you're going to have big chunks come in behind. That's what happened to me. Yeah. Because you get... They seem to come just before those big planes. Mm. If I played enough, I would uh, ah. recognize that. Too. Don't forget you can flip. True. And it'll save your bonus planes. That is very true. Presumably. If I'm in a spot. It'd be Big funny spot. if you could flip, but your bonus planes were like, <laughs> We don't know how to do that! We haven't learned that! We're just learning formation! <laughs> oh, you lost your bonus planes. Rom lost the connection. Does it retry for the connection, or is just as soon as it loses it, it's over? I, because it's mid game. Oh, I got them back! Yay! Oh, it stays so that was between just levels. The, okay. Just for the landing. That's cool, yeah. They take off. They, they're like, meh. Oh, I'm getting lives back. Yay! Ooh, Sandy. So does that uh, white? Ah. Good call. Does that white pow? Um. It is it like refueling your flips or is it, it giving you like a bonus possible flip? I think it gives you an extra flip. Oh, God damn it. So yeah, now the but flips are, you, are back. But is it like filling it up or gives you an extra tank of flips? Do you understand <laughs> oh, what I'm saying? Oh, I see a whole fresh three of them. Well, we'll find out, I guess. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> okay. Is it well, you refilling the tank or is it increasing the size of the tank? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, and a, a potential fourth like, of you had availability? Only, yes. Is it adds oh, your no, availability? No, no, it just no. increases the amount no. you have. So, oh my god. So it's actually oh my god. useless. How do you, how, flip. Oh. Uh, so it's actually... You need a flip for that. It's impossible. So it's pointless to get the white pow if you haven't flipped. It doesn't yes. do anything for you. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's points. That one. Yeah, you have to flip on that one, so make sure you have an extra flip at all times for that big fleet. That was really cool, though. More 
bullets, please. Yay, better bullets. This is an awesome game. Great shooter. Great shooter. Uh, Alan the First says you start with three loopings, but you can get up to four. Oh, okay. So the white can potentially put you up to a fourth one, but it doesn't add a fourth slot. I guess. You always have a fourth slot, but you start with three. Shoot. Ah. More points. 2,000 points. Yay. Which is a fair amount since each of the planes are about 100, I guess. I don't know. Well, uh, they can't. They have to be less than 100. Ah. Yeah, extra. Because my score was less than 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 100 points per plane that I shot. Mm. Yeah. So the big ones must maybe over 100. What are the um? What are the point values now? If you would be able to post those. I'm sure they're the same as the arcade, but I just haven't memorized them. So I usually go for levels rather than points. But, you know, if there's a high score... Oh, what's yellow? Hello. Does it turn your plane yellow? Mm, it didn't. Oh, did it give you an extra life? Because you have three uh, planes before. Maybe it and did. I don't think you had three before. Oh, kitty. Maybe as a hairball. He has a nap ball. The big planes are 1,500. Oh, no plus wonder. And plus 50 per hit. Oh, you get oh points for just shooting them? Oh, I got an extra life. Black one. Black pow. Another extra life. All right. Generous. I don't know. Is that what that... The black one? Because that black one gave me an extra life. Then I passed the score of 50,000, get another extra life. Uh, so I knew that it wasn't just... Um... I got points enough for an extra life. It was, yeah, yeah. The power was indeed for my life. Ooh, green on green. Couldn't see the planes over the grass. Woo! Power! Just remember that you're the center plane. So do not get that Protect one Protect the center plane. Whoa. And watch out for those dirty sneak up behind you ones. Hey, extra life. I mean, the clever ones that don't just come right at you from the front. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to delay the next wave, um, the next wave doesn't come till you get the pow. Oh, oh it's oh time. How come I lost my uh, triple shot? Yeah. Oh. I destroyed it in like three seconds. You have six men. Six lives. Yes. So many. Oh, it's back. Is the triple deleted when you go to the boss because of how many bullets the boss sends out? Is just not fair because you will definitely lose them. You just have to flip, flip, flip. It might be that with the boss, the advantage would be so high ah! um, of having those extra bullets oh. that could hit it. it could, you could just destroy it real quick. Right. It's just too, too unfair for the boss. Scared away the other pilots that were with you. So watch this. I'm watching. Next way. Well, you didn't get 2,000 <laughs> that time. You got less than 2,000. What?! What happened? Yeah, no, it was three. It was eighty-three thousand something, and then it went to eighty-four thousand something. Mm, less powerful red. Side fighters are afraid of the boss. Same in the arcade. Oh, okay. So they fly off. Oh, maybe you can make them fly off before the boss comes. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Where they just go. If you've got enough space, sure. Those, that, those are the sorts of things that definitely get you bonus points. But they are bonus points, not, uh, <laughs> not required. Yay, powerful shots. What does oh, that mean? Uh, on, on the tough planes. Well, I didn't take that one down. That's not taking these down in one hit. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe they're getting tougher. Because they used to take one hit. It's later in the war and they've got armor. Yeah, they've developed better armor. 
They they know how to deflect your bullets. So I'm looking 95. 150. 96. 1,000. 1, okay, so the reds are 1,000. Unless getting it sooner is worth more points. Oh, maybe. So next time get it sooner and I will... Uh, get it right away. Try to remember to look. Hey, die. Oh, God. Here comes the flip. Always save your flips. Still didn't get any of them. Should have just concentrated on one of them. I need more flips. Yeah, I was just going to say, how do they refresh? Because... Ah! With the white. With the Is white. that the only way? Yeah. Okay. Or if you die. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> if I run out of flips on those big planes come... Oh, well, that was... What was that? Oh, you yellow. got an extra flip now. Yeah. Hmm. But I don't know what uh, caused it. Yeah, I thought it was just whites. But... Do we know what yellow is supposed to be? No. Oh, stinky cat. How to flip with a single button controller. Oh, God. Good timing for the flip. Uh, it's a select, um, Al said, which is not oh, super convenient, sorry. but... Oh, sorry. That's all right. You just have to get another one. There's a lot. It'll come. What level am I on? It starts at 32. So there's 22 more levels. <laughs> we could do it! Especially since I haven't lost any lives in like 10 minutes. Probably be okay. Unless there's some big, bad enemies coming up. So I just hope I have a powerful shot when I uh, face off with the boss. I don't think I'll be getting the high scores because I have missed a lot of planes. And I'm guessing those high scores are so close because these people who got them got every single plane on the screen. You have a long way to go to get uh, 10 million. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're like just maybe past 10% just... of what the uh, high scores were. Maybe I'm missing things. Oh, get that. Oh, uh, 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 as far as I can. That's as 1, fast 000. as I could get it. 1,000. That's my last flip. Where are all the extra flips? I'm going to literally die on the next... Yeah, but uh, then you'll have more flips. <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> that is true. This is a very green and blue game. It is a very blue game. <laughs> like, I'm not missing that many planes. Um, so, there's some yellow. Most of the planet is, like, bluey-green, I think. Yeah. I mean, not around here. It's lots or brown. of green and, like, a little bit, quite a bit of gray. <laughs> in <laughs> the sky. <laughs> but in theory, <laughs> ah! in theory, there's lots of blue and green on the planet. Yeah, if you look at, look at it from space. And a little bit of yellow, you know, yeah. desert islands. Yeah, so he's covered all his bases. Yeah. That's as, literally as fast as I can get the... The red power. Yeah, it's only, can't go it's only a thousand points. Yeah, it's not two thousand. Not two thousand. Yeah, we're over oceans. Uh, yeah, there's some land, but it's little islands that you pass mm -hmm. over. This is a very island dense region. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where would that be? Um, it, 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 uh, realistically, uh, you. Uh, islands, you? You're rarely over both you know what i mean it's like you're either over land or the ocean and for a yeah. short period of time you're over very both, short over both but unless you're flying along the coast yeah where would this be? is not a criticism no 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 <laughs> <laughs> where would be the most island dense area in the world i don't think there's in the um south East Asia. I know there's a a lot of islands, like a string of islands all along that. So you go. can't get more than six lives if black gives you a free life. You, you, just black one. you just can't display more than six lives. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you get more than six lives, or it just maxes out, or is it just not showing more than six lives? Yeah, the place you were talking about 
in Southeast Asia. There's lots of islands there. There's a, lots of islands around here, too. Tons, yeah. Yeah. Um, give me... I, 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 feel like, I feel like I know this answer, but... I'm going through the map in my head, and I'm not, <laughs> not finding. I have no flip. I'm not finding the location. And now you do. <laughs> now you've got three. Oh my God! You have to flip again immediately because you didn't pass it. Well, that answers the question about lives. Or does it? It does because. Uh, now I'm five, you but had... I died twice. Yeah, so that means that it you have did. Seven. It did go. It did fail to display it, but you did have the life. It seems. Yeah. So at least has you can have seven. Oh, uh, Alan first says seven is the max, six at the bottom, and one on at the play field. Okay. Oh, my bullets are tiny and ineffective. Actually, not bad. But I would like three planes back. Three planes were pretty good. I lasted a long time. So is time he saying that like eighteen you, left? You, the one you're currently playing, is the seventh. Oh. Used by at the play field? Hmm. Those yellow ones give you um, more flips. I think it did. Yeah, it gave I you a, a flip there. So yellow and white give flips? So what flips. does white do then? Or is that a color error? Al, have you started a manual for this yet? It'd be good to have all this info in one spot, like all the points. And max players. Oh, here they come again. Can I kill one? No. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Try to kill one of them, but they're I think off. You the, got it. By the, but I, I think it might have hit the edge of the screen. Uh, so they disappear tell. as soon as they hit the edge of the screen. I haven't been paying attention. They do. Yeah, they don't gracefully, like, pixel by pixel, go off. But some games did that back in the day because you would never see the edge of this your screen. Yeah. Because it was blocked, like with overscan. Yeah. Oh, I have pitiful bullets. That's okay. You got this. His bullets are very slow. They are very slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wall of slow bullets. <laughs> How to play 1942. So it's just like... <laughs> the first like, stop asking questions. Go, go to this arcade. Go look at the arcade. <laughs> uh, go look at the arcade. I follow the arcade rules. Which, that makes sense. You don't yeah. have to make your own. Yeah, if you do exactly what the arcade does, then it's good. Oh, it's yeah, good. that definitely gave yeah. you a clip. Yeah, so yellows. Ah! Ah! Oh, you bastard. Oh. Down to three lives. Yeah, that's what happens when you get cocky. Yeah. Lost all my bullets. I don't have three planes anymore. So lots it's of a hard flips. knock life for yes. James. It is. Ah! ah! <laughs> want that plane to kill it oh another thing you could do is explosions like change the planes that get killed into explosions but I know that's hard with a triplicate but maybe at least the like the big planes can like explode because it's hard to know whether you killed them or they've gone off the screen I don't know if you have plans for changing it briefly into an explosion <laughs> us <laughs> did we make a harmony <laughs> when we we're singing hard knock life yeah <laughs> <laughs> totally unintentional Die. and you could do the singular planes too as explosions it's not the triplicates that would be challenging unless you flicker them you could flicker them even more might be worth it I insist that you add parachutes so that we know that these pilots aren't all being killed. <laughs> yes, I remember in some games it's like they stress out that you know they have not died by making sure all the people like have parachutes and oh, like in 18, 18. everybody uh, nobody died. All, everybody all the guns away. and explosions never kill anybody. <laughs> they just like eventually give up and will run away from the fight. They're so scared. 
Well, it's sort of like, I remember Rambo came out, and it was like rated R. It was like not for yeah. kids. Oh, yeah. And then the toy line came out, and I was like, I don't, I, I was a kid, and I was like, I don't understand. Why are there toys for a rated R game? Yeah. <laughs> movie. Predator, <they're, laughs> like, how are, why have these kids seen this movie? Like, obviously Predator you intended toys, it to happen. Alien toys. Yeah. Nowadays, they don't. It's like, yeah. I don't know if Predator... Toys are for adults, too. I don't know now. if all the Predator movies were, like, rated R. They may not have been. Like, like after the first one, they're yeah. like, we want more money. Yeah. We will make it not rated R. We'll make it PG and push the limit of what we can get away with. Well, it's not hard. No, no. Especially when they have the reputation and so they don't have to do all the nasty things because you already know from the previous movie that they would. <laughs> <laughs> they're just doing it off screen. Also, the Predator itself wasn't the reason for the rated R rating. It was all the humans cursing and swearing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was rated R, but whatever it oh, was. Oh, for sure. It was. was the gore, I think. probably. Was. That was probably the big one. I remember there being a lot of blood and like some cre some human having been like had their skin stripped <laughs> off and hanging in a tree or something. But I mean, if you got the gore, you might as well swear. Yeah, I if don't you think get the R anyway. I don't think the swearing's the issue because... Yeah, there was probably enough swearing to go beyond whatever the you know limits were at the time yeah beyond the one f <laughs> it's usually the rule more or less throughout the years you're allowed one f word fudge fudge yeah that's the one do not say the fudge word Yay, triplicate again! Yeah. Time yeah. to dominate. Really, probably the high score people have like the triplicate throughout the whole game and never die. And somehow uh, they have enough flips to make it past all those uh Well the thing is it does make sense that if you practiced enough, you would be able to take advantage of the three planes and kill all the things in front of you oh yeah like yeah. if i played it again i would um that was unfortunate i had to use that but i have three planes they take a lot of room see i needed it shoot shoot that guy nope i don't think I you got it. the guy in the end yeah he was he, he was wasn't not at the edge yet yeah. okay. kitty for the sky high score you have to get the big planes uh, all of them how you have to go to the left flip immediately i guess and then uh, yeah that makes sense yeah. That makes sense that you could do that. And then just take them out in a nice big row. Or these big planes. Because I miss, I miss them. So yellow does yeah. give you a flip, for yeah. sure. Ah! Uh, it's more manageable this way. So let's do this. Oh, and you can... Did I get them? I think you can tell which one your center one is from... Oh. It's yeah, slightly okay. wider at the back. There's a couple oh, of Oh, there's a little flip... There's a little extra pixels, flickery sorry. things on the back of it. Yeah. yeah. That does help. That's why. I was wondering what those flickery things were. But that does help a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's important. Is that? Somebody clipped. <laughs> Somebody clipped us and shared it. Oh, it's Clip the Harmony. <laughs> In Harmony. <laughs> they titled it, too. <laughs> well, that was a good clip. Because a lot of the time, like, I see clips of the show, and I look at them, and I go, okay. What's that about? I don't know what that one was for. Uh, the gray? The grayish. It was grayish red, I thought. Bullet. Bullet strength? I, I, don't, I don't see any difference between your bullets. But... I think about max bullets. Got like triplicates, why? But, but it wasn't gray, it was gray red. Oh, hmm. I mean, maybe it was just gray. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> I could be. You could be. I could be if I tried. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, my eyeballs went. <laughs> <laughs> Flip, please. No points are good. Oh, okay. Over this guy. Oh, look at that. You see that? It kind of paused. Yeah. Oh, I got another one, and I don't have oh, a flip. Oh, no. But I do now. Oh, God. Now you have more. 
many. It was like pausing weirdly. So, um. Oh, uh, right. Every time you get to lives. I'm gonna find out now. You have 11 yep. levels. So. Almost there. Almost there. If you already have the POW, the default is a. Oh! What? So the first POW is 2000? Oh, it says if you already have the POW, the default is a thousand points. So is the f first is two thousand, and then it's a thousand after you already have the POW. But the, the red but POWs are like ongoing. It? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's a different type of POW he's referring to. Oh, uh, if you already have the POW and you get the same one, and you can't benefit it from, you get a thousand points. How are these people getting 10 million? <laughs> I've almost done the game and I haven't even got even a half a million. Am I like missing huge points yeah, somewhere? Yeah, that's, that's what Alan first said. You have to um, shoot the big planes. You shoot them down, you have to get near them. Oh, okay. Because then your bullets go quicker, right? Oh, okay. You can just murder them when you get up close. That's what was happening. I was getting very close to them and it was like... Which in a game like this is like makes sense because the further you are away the fewer of your bullets are hitting and so it kind of replicates reality because when you get close more of them would hit uh yeah oh and al says uh 10 million is for end for finishing the game so what were the scores again oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> So you either you're still get... nowhere near it though. So you... I, you're not as far off though. Like you're close. Like if yeah. if the 10 million we cut off, then you're over half the way there now, and you're about but two what... thirds of the way through. Yeah. But I don't know what the. So you'll be What's... way behind them, but not as bad. No. So you either finish the game and get 10 million two hundred thousand, or you don't finish the game, like you and die you get... just before you finish it, and you only get like one tenth of the score of the next person helped. you get tears you get excuse to have cried even though you're supposed to be very manly <laughs> oh what oh god he but it killed the plane. the plane yeah it killed the plane well that's a good side effect oh oh i see the other bad guy playing yeah i got you yeah. uh oh whoa where did that anti-aircraft fire come from? I don't know. It's got some helpers. Um, oh, okay. Bosses are not that bad, actually. They're pretty easy. This is a substantial bonus for beating the game. <laughs> I, I would describe it as substantial. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> it is cool, actually, that there's a, uh, oh, you finished the game bonus on it. Yeah, and if you didn't know that, be like, how, like what I was saying, like, how the hell are they getting 10 million points? It's like, and then you find like, out and you go, if oh. you finish the game, then you will have a higher score than someone who didn't finish the game, even yeah. if you don't shoot anything. Ah, uh, it's glitched. I, the middle plane is gone, but it's little oh. things are still there. <laughs> That's funny. But is the middle plane dead? Yeah. Or are you sure? Or is that where you're, because that, I don't know. We'll find out if uh, that those lights get hit by something. Oh god, I hope that's not the thing. I'm guessing that's my missile, or well, those are the lights the where where the center plane was. That's why I'm wondering if that was. Yeah. Oh, got him. Give me my three planes back. back. Nope. No three planes for you. Oh. Ah. Oh, it hit it. It touched something. Yeah, it went through it. It's the ball. Okay. It's the ball. That's the sidecar. It's not a plane. It's an option. <laughs> I also got that bug. Is it a bug? Or is it like to tell you that... I mean... He said it, it's the ball. Okay. I mean, I guess it is a bug because why not just recenter the plane? Like make the last plane the center plane, right? And then readjust the, the horizontal spot of your plane bigger bullets i mean in programming terms oh i so you lost the center plane but you didn't lose oh okay. that's what i'm thinking that that's actually what i was thinking too but i thought that wouldn't 
I thought I that wouldn't that work would either. I thought if you lose so the center plane... So if you get to the boss now, die. do you fly away scared? <laughs> and all you have is little uh, <laughs> the little ball rotating back and forth and no bullets. <laughs> the ball fights the plane, the boss plane. Maybe. The yeah, what, what, what happens at the boss? <laughs> Yay, extra life. It's getting very low. A two. Down from seven. Yeah, I don't know how. Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know how often you fight a boss. It's not. It's every... like every five, ten levels. I think I've only oh, okay. gotten twice. I think three times at least. Three. Okay. So it's every like ten -ish yeah. levels. That makes sense. I'm not sure if that's what it was, but close to that. Yeah. Alan first says four bosses. Four bosses. Give me my sidecars. So that would oh. be. Oh, that's that's good good. Flips are good. I need the flips. This game might be a little too easy. Uh, Definitely. But it's a high score game. <laughs> uh, true. Okay. Got two of them. But mm -hmm. I can see how you could, if you time it up right, you could get yeah. the majority of them, yeah. if not all of them. And I think, um, I think someone said earlier that they're worth fifteen hundred points, which is not a lot. Not, nothing to sneeze. I mean, we were yeah. like the pow is worth a thousand, especially when there's and six of them on that. the screen yeah. at, at once. And that's a lot of points. Several points. Like. 30th of the points in one swoop. Almost. Give me something good. Yay! Something good! <laughs> but we don't get to see what happens with a boss <laughs> and, and a sidecar. That's okay. Somebody will encounter that at some point. risk it. I like my three planes. Fast power up. Because it really like almost gives you extra lives having these three planes. So you get extra chances to get hit. Uh, sort of. Well, I got two of them. Ah, I flipped but I didn't have a flip. Now yeah. I do. Now I do. I got flips. Five levels to go. We're almost there. It's leaning too heavy on that flip crutch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I'd rather use it than die. But now I've got a weak point. Yeah, that's a good question. Does it show a seven-digit score when you hit a million? Ooh. Well, it showed it with names on the screen, so yeah. But it doesn't have to All show it one during room. gameplay. Is no. The thing, because There's it doesn't happen until the gameplay is over. So. Not enough room for that. Too much stuff. I mean, there is room. You died again. God, that was a terrible death. Nice music. Though. I believe the today's term is stupid death. Stupid death. <laughs> stupid death. We'd have to scroll up and see. It was, it was thrust. Maybe he remembers. <laughs> He's the one that coined today's today's new uh, word of the day. Re repeated phrase. Of the day. phrase. <laughs> stupid death. I mean, I like shooters, but they are not this good. <laughs> like, but, like, is it a game where it's like, oh, it's for finishing the game with a high score? I guess so. Well, it's certainly that. The yeah. question is... Because like, met multiple people have done it. And that should be hard. You can't hit a million here. You can't hit a million here oh, in the game. No, it's you get the ten million after the game. That's I don't what think I'm saying. there's it's any like, way of doing that. It doesn't need to be here if it could be afterwards. Maybe if you get every single thing that comes on the screen. I don't know. Is that enough? Well, Points? the high scores Whoa. are just just oh. um, over half a million. Oh, okay, there's no way. So like doubling that seems unlikely. 
Yeah, those people are doing really well. Yeah. Maybe Al will be nice and enter my score manually if it doesn't register. <laughs> if I finish it. I've got one life left, which is terrible. Not good at all. I need another life for just a little black. Yay! Just a little <laughs> bit of buffer room is nice. <laughs> Having one life. I the don't know RNG if that's... The gods heard your prayer. Because I don't know if... It's one of those games where it's like, you have one life, and it's on the screen showing you that that's your last life. Thrust says uh, 513,000 plus oh, the 10 okay. million, of course. This game does have an end. It does have an end, yeah. We're like just a couple levels away from it, actually. We'll see what the ending is. On the first says the max in this version are, is around 600,000. Okay. In answer to the uh, question we were pondering. Ah, we got the answer. Um, another question, are the lives on the screen the lives you have or the lives in reserve? So if I uh, lose two he, lives, am I dead? He suggested that it was the lives in reserve. Okay, so I have this one on the screen. Because he said the one, six down there plus one in the game field. Right. Okay. Well, that's good. It gives me an extra life. So I have three, including the one I'm playing. You hear the music? Uh, it, it's so funny, because that's what the music is. It's like this whistle. Deet, 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 and drum beats. It's the weirdest music in any game. Barely be classified as music. But that's how it is. Translated very, very well by Paprika. What level are we on? Two more to go. Are we on two more, including this one? <laughs> so, on, on, is there a zero? This is number two. So, unless, yeah. So, Yay! Is there a zero? That's what I needed. Do not lose these. Do not lose these. Don't don't care so much. It's the surest care. way to disappointment is to, to care. See that you allowed the game to hear your disappointment, and yep. you got what you deserved. I did. I did. That's how it works in games. Do not brag. Do not let the game know that you have emotions. It will. <laughs> it will, it will punish you for your humanity. <laughs> it will crush your emotions. <laughs> All computers hate emotion. <laughs> I flipped at the wrong time. Like you have to flip. Like you can't control the flip very well uh, with my uh, now the first says with my rework of the attack waves the waves will have more variety and about 800,000 points are ah. possible oh nice I'm looking forward to playing the final version of the game next time because it's pretty close oh yeah it's great like there's very little that is Need, like what's needed? Is this the last boss? Uh, I only have I a pea shooter. Know, I just I think restarted. You have one more. Don't you have one more aircraft carrier to find? Yeah. I think it's. It should say one. Yeah. Here. So, this is the last level, or there's one after this. We'll find out, I guess. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Maybe. I don't have <laughs> infinite lives. I certainly don't have seven lives. I've got a pea shooter, which is embarrassing. Embarrassing? And one plane. Embarrassing. Worrying, I would say. Yeah, and worrying. Can't even barely shoot down any of these planes. Yeah, you gotta attack all those big ones. I mean, you don't. You're fine. Nope. But, like, in future games, your strategy would be <laughs> to attack. Get all the big ones. Because I'm not gonna make top five. You gotta shoot the chonks. It's just oh, how it is. Oh, yeah. They're the big points. Please, give me three planes or better shots. Or, or a rolly thing. Uh, I don't... The, the roll must... The, 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 the white one must be improve your roll somehow. Because it didn't give you any <laughs> No, it points. didn't. The yellow it gave, gave you points, more. But it didn't give you a roll. that one must give you, um, like, you know, a superpower. <laughs> Although you wouldn't have that power yet because you died. Yay. We give up! Da, 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 da. Game over, presented by N. N. Who's N? N? 
And there is the score. An embarrassing 427,200 points plus 10 million. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Yay, win! <laughs> no, it's awesome. Very, very fun game. Last it's boss a needs some <laughs> uh, Patch score. Is it a patch score if you get if you finish the game? Um, you have to I, get over one million points. Video crash. Is it just me? No. We're still broadcasting. Reload. No frames dropped. It's all good. Um, just you. <laughs> just you. Just you. Um, some comments. I think an exploding plane would be awesome. Just change the sprite to an exploding plane. Um, harder bosses. They were really easy. Like with the pea shooter, I killed them before the bullets even reached me most of the time. Yeah, the, but because the bullet the bullets follow you, yeah. but they move slow and they stay in a line, and so you were able to avoid them pretty easily. Or move the bullets just a touch faster, like the enemy boss bullets. Just a little bit faster would be a bit more. I say make the bullets do what uh, uh, those or big bombers out. would do, which is fire everywhere, <laughs> all over the place, rah, 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 and James is crying, and he's like, no, I'm not going to make it through this. The, the, that's what you want that's what i want to the see. end is still on the screen like it just ended like it and does it does the game end with a boss because that didn't end with a boss did it no no so it, the, it had a boss and then you had the thing level. and then you played part of a level yeah <clears throat> ending with a boss would be like yay that's the end boss i don't know if that does in the arcade because i never got anywhere near as close uh no real ending yet just the end screen okay and what is an end what is what is that? Where? Who's, who's NN? Presented by NM. Nobody? No. <laughs> I don't know. Why. But I'm very happy. I finished the game. It's super fun. Yeah, I love yeah, all really the power good. ups. Yeah, it's really smooth. Um, and and uh... you kind of memorize the attack patterns after a while. You kind of know yeah, what's going he on. He said that he's working on that though. So yeah, so the, some more attack patterns which are coming is going to be awesome. Um, the music's great. The graphics are great. Uh, everything is super great. And you can see why it was nominated for Best Work in Progress. Uh, so congratulations, Al. That's uh, I love this game. I was so excited when you started working on it because it's one of my favorite games. The score was not saved in the iScore Club. Boo. <laughs> can you manually enter it, Al? Please, pretty please. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Sometimes the plus cards just kind of drop the connection and i guess they don't have a retry yeah lost really early i think he said while well, your game was going because yeah. it didn't didn't should be number nine i'll take it i'll take a number nine <laughs> yep i'm I happy think, with that i think you need to to click on the uh, harmony link and 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 see it yeah i don't know where it is can somebody can you guys it's post in the it? it's in the chat is it okay i'll go it's not clicking it so we can look at that. No, it's not. Yeah, you just look for a link. There it oh, is. There it is. No, it's not. Oh, clip the harmony part. That's that's Twitch. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He made a clip of it. No, he just made a clip. Oh, uh, us in harmony. Yeah. Oh, play that back? No, that's okay. what I was saying, yeah. I, I mean, you don't need to, but... Lots of it was a clip. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do that. It's funny. I've never played a video of us just recently on the show. It's a show first. That's right. <laughs> it is. Here, it's Inception. Us and us. <laughs> Rewind it a little bit because it's very. What's a hard knock life for James? It is. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that is definitely worth the clipping. That is hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was during a different part. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Harmonize us. <laughs> All scores get deleted in the next version. Oh, okay. Where's the list? Can you post the list of the high score high scores? Because I thought I had a link to it, but I. Well, you, you showed it to us. Uh, or, no, it didn't. It's in the game. It shows the top, top five. But top five. But how do they know I'm number nine? Who cares? 
Number nine doesn't count. Because is it? <laughs> I know, but I want to see it. I mean, like it's not on this. They right? show the score for fourth and fifth. I mean, that's more generous than the Olympics. What are you asking for here? <laughs> yeah. Is it on a separate page? Because it's not. It's not here, right? No. Why isn't it here? Uh. It's like game name. It should be like first in front of Amoeba Jump. It's not released yet. Oh, okay. Ah. There we go. So let's take a look at that. One second. Switch away. This is a different kind of screen. Um, there we go. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Oh, I would have been number nine. Yeah, it's not number nine. Mm -hmm. oh. Because I finished the game. Yeah, that's funny. I'm the worst at finishing the You're game. You're the worst one who yes. finished the game. <laughs> that's what, I, that's that's what I was saying. It's like, that's what I was saying, though. Like, yeah. you will, if you finish the game, you will have a higher score than anyone who didn't finish the game. Yes. And I think that's cool. That's fun. Worst right. finisher ever. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> but I did it on my first game. Does that count? Nobody cares. Nobody cares <laughs> about your accomplishments of worst worst uh, finisher. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, yeah, that's funny. See, those people played it three times. And Esther Mayer's played it four and times. all of those times were better than yours. <laughs> so what are you saying? <laughs> uh, that's true. That is true. That is true. You only have one score in there, though. I have many failures before I finished it. Ah, see? See? That. Look at all those C. Whelans and S. Ramirez's. Yeah. Way worse than me. Oh, don't look at that one, though. That was just a test. 10,000? Come on. That was me. Oh. <laughs> that was probably me. <laughs> that was you. Yeah, that's true. Zero points. <laughs> it's Darcy's turn. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to finish. You need 30 seconds more entertainment. Oh, that's cool that it, <laughs> it shows stage. Oh, how disappointing. What's that? It showed you what stage you made it to. Oh, oh the yeah. pain. Well, they oh, had to to the get pain. that many points, right? Oh, no, look. No, five. Yeah, look at that five, awesome, five. awesome score, yeah. but didn't well, make it I to guess the end. To get, I guess that's like, that's a good score, like yeah. the winning scores. You just died a little bit early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so subtract 10 million. And that's really, really good. Because if he did five more levels, mm -hmm. he probably would have been like, well, that's, yeah, yeah. Would have done really, really well. Yep. Failed bagely. Oh, <laughs> no. He did awesome. Because you are, you can beat me. Beat the hell out of me. That's the other thing, place. though, is they were trying for the high score. And you were just playing through. You yeah, weren't, like, I trying to kill every all the planes. Definitely and so. not. But I did try my hardest. But my point is not to pat you on the back. What I'm saying is that they... In order to get the high score, you have to put yourself in danger by getting up close to those big things. You That's do. all I'm saying. Yeah. And I was learning. It's on different. It's learning on the fly. I'm making excuses up. I was learning on the fly too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, super awesome game. Um, are you planning on releasing it on cartridge now? Because I I think this would do it's, very well. It's really good. It's really fun. Yeah. 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 Sounds like you need to do another going after dark. Uh, I'll probably wait till the game's finished because he's erasing the scores and then do a proper score run through for that. Yeah. Al asked for it. Nice. Excellent. That is awesome. Uh, so what is happening on some upcoming shows? We got added some new, new things that are coming up. Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger or maybe not the choice between like having a big or having like wrap around uh wrap around's fine so we did this today game of the bear too much to bear game of the bear too, too much, much to bear. bear very awesome platformer finished it actually finished two get two games today yeah hi five <laughs> did i beat you once on draminos i don't know no i don't think i think you beat me every time can't remember no, you definitely Lots of draws. beat me, I think. Okay. I won in all three games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dramino's uh, good start. I think it needs some rule switching to make it a little bit more 
skill based. Right now, it's a lot random based. Yeah. Uh, there's like slight skills. Uh, but I don't think they were like uh, trying to make the greatest game ever. I think they were like doing a a project. Yeah, they're re it was their first game. Yeah, yeah. They're replicating a real life card game that they like. So yeah. mission accomplished. Yeah. 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 It needs to be more gamey. <laughs> mm, this is very gamey. This uh, <laughs> this homebrew. <laughs> Who might release it with the plus card Ardo Start Functions? What? What does that mean? With a plus ROM enabled game, that would be interesting. Plus card Auto Start Functions. Because they could potentially release a game with plus card built into the game so that it registers your high score with, like automatically. There would have to be a thing built in where you actually hook up and, and type how, in your router name. And you have to have an interface. How much extra does that put on the cost of the cartridge? I don't think it costs much for that Wi-Fi uh, module hmm. on it. Um, and it's pretty much an Uno cart it, without yeah. the SD part of it. Mm -hmm. Like You wouldn't need the SD part of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it well, it'd be pretty much a plus card, booting to the game automatically. It's yeah, what yeah. it would be. Yeah, um, that would be really, really, really cool, and uh, be the super first cool, yeah. first game release like that. Yeah, I that mean would that would be life. amazing. Obviously, yeah. The only the only issue. Yeah, it's not a huge issue, anyways. But is that, well, uh, most. I don't know. I don't know how much this matters, but mm. like the fact that it can lose connection and what have you means yeah. that people will be pissed. If you if you add a function and it falls short, people get real mad. They get real salty about it. <laughs> they do. Whereas I if it wasn't there less. at all, they could be like over the over the moon <laughs> happy with your game. And then oh, there was an extra feature you gave them for free. <laughs> That's and how it always works. Anger and rage and frustration. Yeah. yeah, people feel entitled as soon as it's like supposed to be part of it. Yeah, um, yeah. You'd have to do a stripped down version of the menu, of just the Wi-Fi. Type in your select. Or you could put it like within the game as a menu. It's like uh, hook up to router or Wi-Fi and have a little button. Then it goes to the keyboard and router selection. Just to, yeah, that'd be. I demand a refund already. <laughs> I would. I would get in early for the refund list, just in case. <laughs> Funny. Uh, or the Wi-Fi manager portal. 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 Oh, that's true. Um, because it does have, there's an app, not an app, but it hooks up to the Wi-Fi. It acts like a hotspot or router. You can use your phone to register it with your router. You don't even need an interface. That's awesome. Problem solved. Sorry, say that again. It has, it, what? You can set up the plus card to hook up to your router. Yeah. Without doing anything on the screen. Because as soon as you turn it on... <laughs> you can hook up to it through your phone to like its hotspot and do all the functions through your phone through through a web browser oh so you know how you do you hook so up you your, can so you can like type take in everything the whatever ip or whatever it has and put it into your phone and use your phone as the yeah. hotspot for it it okay. has it has it acts as a router you go oh there's the plus cart connect to it go to a predetermined gotcha. ip address yeah and do all the things you know how you configure your router through your computer yeah yeah it's not directly on the router it's kind of like that yeah yeah Hotspot to configure it yeah and that's a much quicker way of saying my bumblingness um yeah that's problem solved uh so 1942 awesome awesome game already extolled the virtues of it so next episode we have an exclusive a work in progress up ud pate ud pate uh, that I need to fix the spelling for. Exclusive work in progress update of Dragon's Havoc, which is a side-scrolling shoot 'em up with dragons by Revan Tuli. Uh, and Adventures of Ollie Troll, which is kind of an exclusive because it's only been released on cartridge, never on binary. But is it's like lots of people played it, so it's not really an exclusive. I didn't know how to name it. Um, so we'll be playing the... Um, full version of dragon's havoc not the demo that's available 
and we're playing the final updated binary of Robots Rumble. Uh, oh, by the game, we're going to be playing Adventures of Ollie Troll. Um, or what are you talking about? Oh, he's talking about something else. There might be a way to detect connection drop, then the reconnects would be easy then. Please do that. That would be very, very good, because I've had that happen a number of times when I'm actually trying to register a high score on a game. Uh, or a keep alive. If it's dropping because there's no data being sent, then you would definitely want to like ping something every X seconds, if that's why it's dropping. Mm -hmm. um, then we're going to do an After Dark, I don't know when, of the High Score Club Season 12, Aardvark and Stratovox. I don't know when that'll be. Could be any time. Uh, show after that, Space Pac-Man. Exclusive final binary of that. Very fun game. Um, and then on the next time Darcy's here, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of Atari 8-bit games. And they are cross-platform games that were compiled for multiple computers. And we're going to be playing the Atari 8-bit versions of all ah. these. Yeah. Um, and it's made by a Japanese developer. All these games. So it's very hard to fi find information about what is going on with these games but they all look fairly straightforward they're very simple games that's why there's like seven of them or nine of them one two three four five six seven eight nine i was just fighting off of i what i could tell was going to be like a scream sneeze and i was <laughs> you did I was, it i was this close to like running out of the room so that thrust speakers didn't explode because <gasps> when i say like i mean sometimes it hurts my ears <laughs> hurts your own ears yes the distance between the the because, yelling like, out of I your sneeze mouth and there's this like shout Woo! it's like a battle shout or <laughs> fuss rolled off <laughs> um, like your ears are ringing after you after you sneeze a little bit yeah. <laughs> yes i do have to get in before the 28th yeah that's true aardvark some great scores already i remember I'm guessing it's the demo, and I remember playing the demo for scores. I'll have to review my old game and look at my tactics, because there's certain tactics you do for maximizing your scores. Uh, then on April 8th, we're going to be playing the exclusive world premiere of Razor's Edge. And some unscheduled things. Atari Age Day 2022, all the new releases coming up sometime, maybe this month, maybe next month. Dark Keep, exclusive world premiere of the board game, converted to 2600 game by EA Smith. And we're going to do an After Dark of INV as part of the 2600 High Score Showdown, Season 6. And the Champ Game Secret Homebrew, exclusive world premiere. Who knows what it is? I don't. Nobody else does except probably Nathan Strum and uh, John Champo. Maybe other couple other people. And just announced, uh, we're doing a developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky, Revan Tooley, who does all of It's treat rants. time. Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. Oh, in one more treat time. You've been given a catnip already, so you get treats this time. All right, mister. There's a bell for you. You know what to do with it. Ring, ring, ring. Don't pretend that you don't know. Ring that bell. One day we were, we were uh, doing this, and he was like, huh? What? That was loud this time. Oh, because I cranked up the desktop audio again because we we're playing back our video that was captured. Oh, yeah. Sorry. RIP headphone users. <laughs> you have to make the noise, buddy. Make One time noise. it was off and nobody heard make it. Make the noise. Thank you, Charles Whelan, for blowing our eardrums. Fat cat or high cat or fat high cat. Today you're a fat high cat. Um, so yeah, we're doing a developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky. Uh, I don't know when, because we're also on the same day going to have the exclusive world premiere of his new game, Harpy's Curse, which is a, uh, horizontal scrolling 7,800 game where you flap a bird and you go all over the place. That's as far as we know right now, because it's just been announced not too long ago. What? I can't hear anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Todd Fermansky. Uh, so we'll be doing that. And we'll be doing, we're playing every single Atari 2600 game ever made. The classic ones. In August, September. 
I haven't planned that out completely yet, but uh, we'll make sure Darcy can be in for some of those games. We'll like do it on a one of them on a Friday night, so we can do the normal show and then do an after dark of the Atari games, and uh, yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's what's coming up. Lots of exciting things, and even more to come that I can't even vaguely announce yet because it would just be like something on no date. <laughs> what's the point of putting on? I can't even say who's who whose it is. Seven hour after dark. No, I have calculated it. It is twenty six hours, I believe, of at four minutes each, at four hundred games, approximate. So it will be longer. Yeah, it'll be longer than seven. It'll be like no longer than the, the amount you calculated, because like oh. there's no chance you're going to be able to stick to that. It'll be on a timer, a dinger. So it'll be like regimented. Yeah, but the amount between, the time between them? No, no. It's four minutes to load and play. Yes, if everything goes correct. It should. But it won't. It For won't. 23 hours, you think everything is going to go correct? <laughs> oh, no, it no, won't. No, it won't. <laughs> We'd be doing shifts. We're going to break it up into multiple after darks. And we'll just play till we're sick of it and stop there and go to the next day. Might do an hour and a half. Might do four hours. Yep. Will they be a 10-liner special? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Next week is deadline for submitting entries for the contest. Yeah, we'll do a 10-liner special. That was a lot of fun. Doing Vitoko's 10-liner games. Uh, do you, I, you weren't there for that, but there's a contest that they hold um, that includes Atari 8-bit games that are programmed in BASIC. And they have to be done in 10 lines of code of varying lengths of lines. Some are like 80 characters, 100 characters, 120, something like that, and 256 or something like that. And you have to make a game, and that's your limitation of making the game. And Vitoko's like the master at it. <laughs> he so, makes unbelievable games in 10 lines. Why 400 games? There are about 600 original games. Uh, we'll 200 of them are not worth the time. Is that why? There's some crap. Is there a little bit of. Of nose raising? Uh, I'd like to play all of them. I think the 400 are NTSC. That's ah. that's the thing. Um, I'll have to see. And I know there's a bunch of PAL. Not as much PAL as NTSC games. Um, there are some PAL games that are not NTSC. There are. And vice versa? Yep. Oh, tons that aren't PAL. Uh, that are NTSC. There are oh. only a handful of PALs that aren't in NTSC. Like huh. asterisk... Um, comes to mind. Um, there's a number of them. And clones. I'm not going to play clones. Why would I play the same game twice except mildly changed? Now, just original games. No hacks. Um, I can play PAL because we're going to be playing a lot of them on emulator because I don't have 400 games. I don't know how many I have, but I have a lot of the common ones. Obviously not chase the chuck wagon or something like that some rare ones uh it'll be by release date um so we're going that's that's going to be the fun part because you get to see how the games get better and better and you go oh that's an innovation that's an innovation that's an in it's like oh now we have multicolored sprites or now we have flicker or now we have a play field that's not just mirrored you know things like that it's a 600 without clones or pirates, etc. Okay. Do it, some of them are going to be hard to place the dates, though. Uh, the 600. Even the 400 are hard to place the dates. They'll be like years. And then be like, oh, that's the approximate year it came out. Looking forward to really? four minutes would of basic math. <laughs> would be that hard? Because back then that's they the just did not care about keeping records. They're just like, yep, yeah, there it's out. Um, but some people have investigated it based on looking through. I guess when you have 400 of them, some of them can slip through the cracks because yeah. they weren't popular enough that people remember or whatever. And Atari didn't keep track of it or they don't have any paperwork. So people have been looking through like magazines and newspapers for the earliest mention of the games. And they're yeah. going, well, it's at least this March little, 82 yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Basic programming. Two moves in VHS. We'll, use, we'll put it down to the easiest game. And then we can get the most moves in. Somebody, Some companies probably died pretty quickly too. Yeah, we just have no records for those 
companies that are just nobodies, right? They released one game and then print Hello World. Yeah, we'll have to do that as quickly as possible <laughs> in basic programming. Click, 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 click. Oh, we ran out of time. We can't press run. Next game. <laughs> Fun stuff. Yeah. So uh, four minutes will not be enough for some. Four minutes will be more than enough for a lot of them. It's like, this game is terrible. Atari Mania's collection, version 16, results in 594 unique games. There we go. So, let's do the calculations right now. Because um, we did it with 400. Let's get that calculator back on the screen. Okay. Center that. So, 594. Oh my god, I need to change the batteries in this. I was saying four minutes because three is like uh, to change the game and then play it is like a minute maximum to change the game. It's not that slow. So 2300 minutes with 594 games, four minutes each. Uh, that's 39 hours. Um... That's a lot. <laughs> uh, let's say three hours per, on average. Maybe we'll do a two, maybe we'll do a four, maybe we'll do a three. We'll do a three hours average. 13 episodes. See, that's not... If in, they're bonus episodes, it's not even... It's not even a concern. It's like whatever, yeah. Yeah, so like we could do that. If you're going to do something, do it right play all the games right just get it done not go oh you didn't play all the games uh, you missed blah it's like no we played them all we played every <laughs> single one of them well then you have to do 600 games if you're going to do it that way <laughs> yeah no. exactly 594 we're doing all 600 we're gonna do it because we have um we do movie marathons here um and we're doing one coming up next weekend called paul with with directors usually yeah. And we're doing Paul Thomas Anderson. I don't know who that is. Uh, Boogie Nights. Uh, uh, Magnolia. Okay. Um, Pretty sure I know. There Will Be Blood. Pretty sure I know, I know that one. You, yeah. yeah. Most people don't know his name, yeah. but they know almost all. Phantom Thread. One, um, one Oscars. I don't, um, I don't recognize that one. Um, anyway. Unlikely I saw it. Yeah. I, I haven't seen that one either. Person. Um, but most people know his, his movies, but no, don't know his name. And they're all really, really high, highly rated. Um, so we're doing that next weekend. And I've split it up into three weekends because it'll take about 30 hours to watch all of his movies. But we don't just watch all of the movies. We watch all of the shorts that he's made, all the little yeah, yeah. things. And this guy also does music videos. So we're watching all the music videos, too. So we're watching everything he's directed. And sometimes, like when we did the Tarantino one, I throw in everything he's written because he wrote True Romance, which is an yeah. awesome film. Yeah, and it has I, a Drexel in it. it <laughs> Not a Drexel, but it has a Drexel. A Drexel. Which is pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> I would be... And Natural Born I Killers, would be too, surprised. which he wrote. I would be surprised if that wasn't... Like, I didn't hear that and go, I'm going to use that name. But I would yeah. be very surprised if... That wasn't like where my brain heard that first, and then I'm just guessing that that's it. Unintentionally, yeah, Drex all sounds good. Like, like for for computer video games, I like yeah. start, that's where it started. Yeah, I'd Watch use that as a name or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, we do those and it's fun. So yeah, watch it. With <laughs> I can't remember. Drink your milkshake. <laughs> oh, we'll have to we'll have to serve milkshakes. Because sometimes no. I try and do. Because we did Lord of the Rings, and we ordered donuts. I drink your rings. milkshake. Rings, yes. And for... But donuts. Right. It's a ring. Poison. We were going to... Uh, but poison. delicious, delicious, delicious poison. Delicious, delicious poison. <laughs> we were going to do onion rings, too. But I wouldn't know. Didn't I did not succumb. <laughs> no? He didn't give in? I no. didn't. And for uh, Tarantino, <laughs> we had the full menu from... Or lots of the stuff on the menu from the diner in Pulp mm. Fiction. 
Um, so we made the burgers and the milkshakes and everything like that. It's lots of fun. So yeah, we'll have to do a milkshake for There Will Be Blood. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Enough about things that have nothing to do with video games. <laughs> nom de game. Nom 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 de game. D Train Thrust 26. Charles Whelan, Vitoko, Carl G, Old Style, Splendid Nut, Dan ABC, Al Nefer. I have to keep a mental list of names I have not said. <laughs> uh, Azure. Did I say Charles Whelan? I think I did. Sometimes people get named twice. They're lucky. RC7E. Ivory Tower Collections. And they don't give a different color for everyone. They reuse colors, which throws me off. <gasps> Unacceptable. So thanks for it's tuning not, That's not very Atari 2600 of them. It's not. The Atari has many colors to be chosen from. Many but, to be spared. But uh, this is Twitch, so they don't have as, as many. They don't have as many. Like, everybody knows that in 1989 all the colors <laughs> in the world were reduced from 256 to that's right 16 that's right and that's Burr. all we have to live with now Burr, only hu 16 hues but only 16 hues well yeah true but it does cover a lot of a lot of range the 16 and then brightnesses of those 16 mm -hmm. on the eight how many brightnesses eight brightnesses on each of the 16 colors some something like that anyway we're gone for now everybody have a great weekend and we're gonna see you again on tuesday with more awesome homebrew so bye everyone bye bye later